What's up? It's Spot the King over here. Hey, 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 everyone. So it's working. Insane. All right. Let me just put some chat messages. Let me start the poll, basically. It will be fun. Okay. I guess I can turn this off. Turn on stream on my phone. And basically we're starting, guys. So we're starting where we ended previous part. In Gityanki Crusher. With our Paladin. Shadow Heart as Light Domain Cleric, Karlak as Kung Fu Karlak, Open Hand Monk, and Will the Sorcerer. So, off stream, I made them more beautiful, used some dice, other stuff. So, I guess we're ready to go and wreck some Druggers in the Green Forge, basically. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. But before we go in there, we need to finish some tasks here. This is Zaid Hisk. And I want to use it with a Will. Because uh, of his Shadow Heart. So, character who will use Zaid Hisk, Zaid Hisk will be able to basically use elite powers with bonus action. So it's uh, either my cleric or sorcerer. I'm not sure exactly who it should be. But considering we're using sorcerer as main caster, maybe it should be someone like Shadow Heart. She won't be able to use a lot of bonus actions anyway. So let's go and try to do it as Shadow Heart. The device <coughs> is strange. You feel your parasite stir. So we need to lie down in the device. Your body grows cold. Its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. You realize the device is your skull groans and bends under the pressure. So now we need to succeed saving throw. Agony. Intelligence saving throw. So it should be wizard actually. Can we improve her power? <laughs> no, we don't have any guidance right now. Let's try, let's try. Oh, we can use guidance as cleric. So there should be two checks. The machine First one out failed. I've got a bad feeling about this. I have got a bad feeling too. You feel yourself ebbing away. Let's try to do it one more time. It's wisdom now. It's wisdom, so it's shadow heart throw. Oh my goodness. Can I reroll this? Or oh, I don't have any rerolls. Give me a reroll, I got inspiration. The tadpole quivers. Okay, okay. I really got bad feeling too, so <laughs> let me escape from this room with one character. <laughs> I want to go to camp actually. It's looking scary, it's looking so scary. And let's get back to Shadow Heart. How are you, lady? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, please. Shadow Heart. Oh no. Unable to you feel joints break. Oh no. The room there 
was too close. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. All right, so now our intelligence even weaker and we get minus two to wisdom. Is this forever or can I get rid out of this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. Okay, that was awful idea. It was like most awful idea to do actually. And possibly I need to just forget about Shadow Heart in my party. Possibly. So, Shadow Heart. Explain me. Can we actually use Long Crest? And you <laughs> get back your powers. Hi everyone, by the way, who's just joining. So, it's permanent, yeah? Permanent minus two from Weakened Wisdom. Wicked Constitution too. Okay, okay. There is work to do. There will be no shadow heart <laughs> in my party. I have a oh my, my goodness. We should forfeit her. So, the Githyanki have no cure for our condition. If you're sure. Sorry. <laughs> Fine. Okay, for some reason. What's your opinion on assassin class? Just started as half orc assassin last night. Uh, it's best to class to have fun if you want to kill everyone first. So. Uh, one of my favorite classes and I played with Assassin when I first started. So, I need Cleric in my party. I need Cleric in my party right now. And who I have? I have Gale. He's uh, like awful person, basically. <laughs> Rip, that is... Yes, it's like so awful. I'm playing as good person, so Asterion possibly won't have a nice relationship with me. Okay, this is like... It couldn't be worse than this, I guess. I just started stream and we're already failing. Okay, let's check out who will go with us. And then we continue our journey. So, Asterion, please. Tell me you got nice approval. He got... Like, medium approval. Need something? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. Uh, Let's check out Gale and possibly he will be okay as our new cleric. Because Shadow Heart, we basically can rip Shadow Heart. We were for. We're I'm not playing character with minus two to three stats. So Gale, Gale is insane. Okay, he, he's like totally fine. All right, Gale is our new cleric. I like Shadow Heart more as cleric, but whatever, whatever. And Shadow Heart got nice like options when we play in second act. But sadly, we're not playing sh sh second act with Shadow Heart. All right, all right. So a ring. Basically, give him everything, lady. Blood of the Thunder and a shield. He is looking nice. Okay. Breathe deep. Rip Shadow Heart. What's up, Gale? Let me respect him fast. Where is Wizards? Immediately. Oh, here, here. So what I did off stream a little camp. bit, a little bit of stream action. I basically created a rogue who will steal a lot for me and this rogue uh, was basically making a loop where I am leveling character so it's clerics and we're going wisdom and every time I level character it resets uh, enemy shops and uh, when shops refreshed we're basically getting more gold in these shops 
so by doing these actions I was able to steal a lot of gold perhaps a respect let's, let's move. quickly check Maybe this stat how can I help I question the wisdom of that decision but I'll be here if not over I just don't want to, to make Ladies, bottom part join me shadow heart join me shadow heart and tell me you can respect and lose your debuffs Does thou require a new as I want to change my class so fighter no <laughs> we got permanent minus two to three stats basically permanent I never played campaign without Shadow Heart, so this will be first time. I'm sure. Why she's so low? Okay, where is Gail? He's here. I need a moment for the two of us. How can I help? Join me, bro. So let's quickly level him up and start going to the Green Forge. And see, <laughs> can we beat this big bro? Okay, cleric. Uh, Guidance and produce flame. I like it. Light domain always. He will be like Tiamat, cleric, whatever. And I will make spells later. So no, respect won't fix Shadow Heart. Sadly, sadly, it hadn't. It can't fix her. So she's broken, basically. We broke Shadow Heart. You never knew. You never knew what will happen on Honor Mod. Actually, I thought uh, we can start today's stream. And I will get these buffs. I will be cool. In the later stages of the game. But that's what we get. Well, that's what we get, basically. Nothing cool. Only awful stuff. So, uh what we need here i'm just destroying every spell so we get this uh, we're getting uh, range melee we're getting all healing stuff then i'll get my fireball fire hands and scorching ray flaming sphere sometimes we need it this is a light part so if you need light or some sort of light it will be here some debuffs over here and basically we kind of ready so what else we need main damaging spell of course enhance ability sometime we need it sometime we need it and just possibly 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 we get two spell slots so remove course sometimes is needed bless i'm not using bless no more maybe let's use so it's concentration spell i hate concentration spell disable whole person of course just in case we need disable and eight just above our party okay cleric is ready yes. let's go so what i did i basically stole a bunch of gold so i got 10k gold right now a lot of camp supplies so we are totally fine to go to tea house right now i forgot to make one stuff in the tea house where is it riverside tea house there is yeah there is awesome tea house that's so sad we can't fix shadow heart that's super sad actually but okay we get what we get on the honor mode <laughs> Luckily, I haven't like lost skill checks when I was getting Gale outside of his teleport black hole. Remove course won't fix head shadow heart stats. No, because it's not curse. So remove course will work only on stats that's uh, highlighted over here, like in character sheets. So let's drink potion. I got loads of them. I wonder if I can use uh, bitter divorce here. 
was a time I tussled with giants without breaking a sweat. I'm not sure because, now. like, oh, strange things. I missed place. I never played like this, so it's like completely fresh walkthrough for me. I basically never got in situations like this. And I'm not safe scamming a lot when I'm playing normally. So I'm normally like getting over these situations normally. But it's like so fail right now. So we need to get to this door. And I need to open it. I guess it's easy. Like that. So, is this protection will work for me, by the way? Is this protection will work for me? Okay. Plus two to armor class. Yeah, so we got 20 AC right now. Insane. Nice, we can resurrect him. No. Oh no, Connor. Oh. Okay. He can't be my bro. But I guess I can resurrect him anywhere, yeah? Oh no. I use this stick, so there's no more stick in me. No more stick? Okay. Oh no, there they are. So I got the stick. Can I reserve him again? Open up. Okay, Karlak. We will need him. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I don't know why we need him, but maybe we will need him. Maybe he will help us a little bit. Cure Shadow Heart with Tadpoles? Will they cure her? I mean, like, uh, I don't know. I never failed this. I never used this, uh, like, completely. I did few skill checks and this is basically the seat. So we can go to camp and then teleport on our way to Grimforge. So today my plan is to kill Grimforge and complete this boss, basically. So you tell me I can cure Shadow Heart with Ted Pulse, yeah? But how? First in my heart. May the darkness protect you. So she don't even have this like opportunity to eat Ted Pulse. But maybe Gale will have this opportunity because uh, Shadow Heart rejected my proposal to eat Ted Pulse a little bit. So Gale, be my Go bro, ahead. please. I'm listening. So, or is Gale like got no problem with it? Yo, Gale got no problems with that ball. All right, so yeah, Gale, our new cleric. That's it. Done. I read it and read it. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> possibly I can do it. Okay, so basically I did everything in Act 1. But Act 1.5, after Gitan Kikoshes, there is some unfinished stuff in Underdark. We need to go to beach right now. Impressive fight again. You should consider a new name. Take it you have some suggestions. The Wizard Wonder. Or... How about the master of the world? All right. So where I need to go? I need to go to the top side. And I want to finish Arcane Tower. We haven't finished it yet yesterday. And Amalum Quest. Oh, how? Will, why are you not jumping? You can do it. What a lazy. What a lazy bro. Still alive. So, Arcane Tower right now. Mm. 
It's already activated. So I need to go to the bottom floor and that's where we can find some flowers for elite in Myconid colony. Let's descend beyond. So just like flowers should be over here. Team mask spores. And Tongue of Madness. Oh, supply pack. It's always nice to have supply pack. So now it's kind of tricky situation. It's getting tricky because I need to find a book, basically. Can I descend beyond? Yeah, there's one more level here. Somewhere in this tower. Somewhere in this tower. We can descend more. Should be a book. And if I read this book, I can talk with uh, a robot on the top floor nicely. And he will be kind of peaceful to us. Kind of peaceful. So, but this book should be on the top floor, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I don't see any book. Let's get back to the top floor. Where is my party? Let's ascend. Anything besides this door? So I don't see any books here that we can use. Or I'm blind, basically. So there is one book. Sad bear book. Not sure if it's the one we need, but we need to make sure to read every book because uh, there will be a lot of more dialogue options. Floor with dog color window. So let's try to ascend one more time. Yeah, there's the floor, there's the floor. Or no? I guess we can go one more time to the top floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is the floor. So, Open up. here we get some loot in this tower. Like nice ring to sell. Button. And here is the book on death and resurrection. We need to read it. And we will get this dialogue option. No, 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 no. This is the book. Roads to darkness. So make sure to read this book before going to the top floor. If I'm not mistaken, this book, uh, like, button not doing anything. It should not do anything, basically. But let's just try to press it. It's a button, after all. Strange place for a button. Especially one that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's super strange button. Who knows how it works. If it works basically let's go to the floor before going to the floor i want to drink drink elixir of lighting resistance because robot on the top floor can 
do lighting damage. I'm not sure about phase breaker. It should be better against robots than slashing damage. So maybe let's equip it. And we will do 1d10 damage. Oh, my concentration broke from spell. Okay, that's okay. I can concentrate on magic weapon, for example. So we can go to the top floor. And I hope I'm okay. That's Bernard. From the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. So, if I pick anything from this, I guess we will fight instantly. First option should be okay. But just to be sure, let me put everyone in nice places. So, Carlock. We'll deal with these guys. Will can stand on the top. And Gale, I guess, okay. Like maybe over here. So he's our cleric, yeah. Get the color to make the button work. Oh, okay. A rescue from my lonely wake. So. So now we can pick anything and he will give us like a loot, guiding light for example. Okay, now we are friends <laughs> and chat, let me ask you, do you want me to kill this robot or not? We fighting Bernard, I guess. Why we came here, yeah? We came here to fight Bernard. Let's see. Yes, yes. Let's go, let's go. We're here to fight, not to talk. I hope I won't break my oaths. So, let's examine him. He got legendary action. So, once per round, can spend legendary action to launch leaping static at 4. Oh, it looks like chain lighting, but lower damage. Okay. So we need to stand around him, but not close. He is resistant to any damage type, basically. And let me check this oil. So when I use this oil, uh, it should make him not resistant to my damage. And why he got so high armor class? 19. Alright, it will be like pretty hard fight, I guess. Will be a really hard fight. Lost in thought, may it please, Mistra. Never a dull moment. Forty percent chance to attack. That's crazy. Especially before time is kind of takes all. So Sir Flower will turn off his friends to make the fight easier. Okay, that's interesting idea. Do we have any Sorcerer Flowers left? I guess no. I guess I like dropped them somewhere. So we don't have any like flowers. Or do I have some flowers? No, I basically destroyed every sister flower I found. So we're fighting like a man. We're fighting like a man. We're not ma making this fight easier. But I guess best idea actually is to start with these guys. 
we need to destroy them first and then we will find ideas how to do it better so 40 percent chance to hit like that seek and you shall find me gale step by step maybe gale should start over here Maybe we start over here with Gale. Yeah, so we kill these guys by our hands. Which way to the nearest okay. <laughs> Gale is my new... Gale is my new, like, cleric. Because we destroy Shadow Heart. So let's see how he can do it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. If I lose this right now, it will be, uh, like, awful. Radiant is good. Yeah, Radiant is, like, single damage that can damage him normally. And let's use this oil. Okay, Gale. Le let's go, let's go. We'll sink later. Alright. So, he's on Karlak. Should we attack him or no? No, no, no. Okay, Gale can... Do some damage with Spirit Guardians. And that's very good. I guess I need to use bonus action healing on all party. It will uh, give us Blade Ward and concentr Concentration. Yeah, bless, bless, bless. John Connor, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting close with Spirit Guardians. Now it's Karlak time. So we got Radiant damage. I mean, it should be easy. Let's try to knock him down first. With critical hit. Oh my goodness. Alright, at least he is prone right now. I can go and attack him with advantage. And then deal with these little guys. But first of all, let me check what can do our sorcerer. So do we need to attack him? No, 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 no. I got quickened spell, so one more. One more magic missile will do the job. Okay, Bernard is done. Now we can deal with these guys. I don't need Divine Smite on this attack. Right. And can we actually come here somehow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be only 10 meter. Now we need to move this stool. And now I will be able to attack. No, I don't have a bonus action. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This sorcerer was like great respect and fit. I don't have uh, long strider right now. I can do long strider with uh, guys in my camp, but I don't want to use a lot of higher links in this run. I mean, it's more fun when you don't go to camp every now and then and pop your party. So now it's Gale turn. Gale looking nice as my cleric of doom. So it will reset on short rest. We can definitely use this stuff over here and let's save some resource or should I save some resource we're going to like green forge next so I can use everything and we will go for long rest because green forge is uh, basically one time battle you need to go in and finish it in one turn yes. 
Fuck yeah, thank you, Karlik, thank you. I'm in the same mood as you, lady. Where is last guy? Okay, here he is. Can we move to him? Yeah, definitely. Nice. Time to push my luck again. On my way. This is my time. Oh, okay. Who's here? It's Kale, of course. Oh, Kale can hit with his hammer with Blood of Latander. Die, robot. Okay, he's done. He's done. So Bernard is done, basically. We got some broken machinery. We can build some stuff from this. It's like crafting material. I guess my party is super strong right now. So I should be like... I should trust myself. Very, very, very good. Spear. Like Halbert, Halbert. But every time we attack, we get chance to stun ourselves. That's not cool. That's not so cool. So we add it to wares. We will sell it. Let's get everything here. Something good here, I hope. And basically nothing cool here. We can descend. Anything of use? And basically go to Myconid Colony. Don't forget to break this tool. Okay. Maybe I don't know something about this quest. Maybe I don't know. Let me finish my colony and let's get back. Can you explain what to break? This little stool? I need to break it that I moved. Oh, my alum? I greet you, child of the sun. <laughs> There's no trusting in my player attack. Fair. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, so, refresh my memory. I got. M I found mushrooms. You must drink the entire draft. Let's drink the potion. I can make no promises as to its taste. The acidic liquid tightens your throat. Not a drop. As the potion. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Okay, okay, I will come back Dark and uh, destroy it. Spasms. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. A wave of the parasites will get surge. Ah! Oh, Meloon, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power, such an outcome, was not in my calculations. Indeed, I it will. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? So, because removal. And I must admit, I was curious to study the tadpole myself. My research is in perpetual need of funding. 
So, he can yes, trade with us now. now. Elixir Psychic Resistance is insane stuff. For later stages of the game. Creation Echo. Nice stuff, basically, for early game. In interesting, interesting circlet. I guess it's nice for someone like... Uh, for rogue that's using magic. I forgot how it's named. Arcane trickster, yeah. So, mind shielding is very good. Ring, I'm taking it. And ring of selling can be used on my cleric right now. I guess, so he can restore more hit points to creatures. We can replenish expanded spell slots. Sounds interesting. Is this like spell crack amulet? It sounds broken. I guess it's not working. That could make of course. So now we are poisoned for 10 turns. That's totally okay. Uh, we got nice rings from Amelum. So right now we can use this ring of mind shielding so we can be charmed as uh, our like wizard, for example. And another cool ring. Where is another ring? Oh, it's already on Gale. Yeah? Yeah. This is the ring. So let's get back and see what's going on over here in Arcane Tower. Sadly, there is no teleport. Let's break this tool and go to the Green Forge. I want to fight for Green Forge today. And actually go to the Act 2. Oh, wrong way. We should be going here. Let's keep our sword. Sword of Justice is a very good one. Oh my goodness, why can't you just jump? Oh, okay, okay. It's just locked for some reason. Okay, now we are fine. I hope so. He's lagging over here for some reason. And basically blocking all party. I just can't move with anyone. Will, why are you so like... Slow. I guess saving fixes. I'm <laughs> so sorry for this. Like, little problem. Can I load this game? Let me go to main menu for one second. Strange, St strange behavior of the game. I wonder what will happen when I break this tool. 
It's really interesting. So, fight versus Grim. It should be it should be really intense, I guess. It should be really intense. But before Grim, we need to face Nier. I hope I can make coalition with Druggers and they will help me fight Nier. Because uh, if they will be all versus me... It will be hard. And probably I will just need to use something like Potion of Invisibility, run from fight, and then do something more smart. Yeah, okay. It definitely, like, <laughs> fixed with reload. Some jumping logic. So let's just a little rest for now. My Paladin basically doing plus 2, 1d6 poison and ad with advantage when he healed from Gale and plus 1d4 if we concentrate in on magic weapon. Very strong Paladin. Very strong Paladin. So are we going to the top? Yeah, yeah. If we rest before near he dies that's why i want to do it in one go that's why i want to rest now not waste a lot of resource on druigars stool of heal, heal giant strength yeah oh i don't know what will happen let me just do it alone let me just do it alone so i need to break it I can throw it, yeah, to break. That chair leg might be good for smacking monsters around. Club of Hill Giant Strength. Whoa. So it's one d four plus three, and it gives us strength to nineteen. Interesting. We got only seventeen right now. So what will be my damage? With this stuff, with this club. From 7 to 10. Not a big <laughs> damage. But that's funny. That's funny. Club of Hill Giant Strength. Interesting, interesting stuff. So, let's go to Underdark Beach. Let's rest and let's go. Oh, yeah. I don't have to fight, but I want to fight. <laughs> Fighting is, is fun. Fighting is always fun. This, I guess, like most fun thing you can do on, <laughs> on Connor mod. Time to rest. I guess this. technically there's almost no battles that you can, uh, like, that you're not able to bypass without fighting. Maybe only Ketrick fight, where you need to fight 100%. You even can kill Gortash without fighting. I guess we can do something with uh, Orin, maybe. So what's going on here? Why there is gnomes in my camp? Okay, whatever, wherever. I'm rested? No. Yeah, Cleric of Wizard with 8 strength, pretty nice, so they hit, they will land a hit, at least. Let's march. Watch Scratch God for us. Dog wags his tail, a small bag he gives in and surrenders his fire. Sandals, very Scratch's nice. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily. Scratch's tongue lolls... All right, Karlak, we need to get you more potions. I got a lot of dice, so we can be beautiful characters if we want to. Some quest stuff later. So let's go. 
<laughs> learn something new. Yeah, you can always learn something new in Baldur's Gate. There's so so much you can explore. I mean, even like I don't know if everyone knows this, but there's like pr pretty surprising stuff. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right because there's two words Please. stuff and staff, I guess. So this is staff, yeah? Or stuff, whatever. Basically, quarter stuff of Morning Frost, and you can make this stuff by yourself. Uh, you need to craft it with three items. And there's like no tutorials how to do it. So you basically can find three items. Then, if you click on it, then you can craft it. So, very cool item. And re really strong for Cold Wizard. I am actually thinking about switching Fireball to Ice Saucer. So I want uh, Will to be Ice Saucer, maybe. Alright, so let's go. Let's go. Do I need anything right now? I guess not. Vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. One plus two is like 125 hours. Uh, more than 100 hours is like more than enough. You saw like almost all content in the game, I guess. With your choices, that's like most important stuff. Because when you change your choices, you will see some new stuff. And j just like me right now, I never got uh, this <laughs> zombie alone. I always saved Mariana. And I beat the game like three times already. I always saved her. So here comes Druigers. You! What are you doing on Gek's raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? So I would. Uh... <laughs> I would use athletics and we will fight like with fewer persons but honestly I don't want to fight them right now this fight can go so wrong they can basically push you off this raft and it can be difficult to save resource and I want a lot of resource when we go in right now into Grimforge because I want to find near. I don't want to watch how he dies. So, because we are a good guy. We are the good guy, by the way. So we're trying to make good stuff and we need to save gnomes over there. So, in the name of Absolute, you will let me pass. Let's pretend we are... Oh! <laughs> oh... Absolute. Oh. Okay, Kung Fu Karlak. Kung Fu Karlak. Let's go. Okay. Let's critical hit him. Let's critical hit. Nice. So I uh, <laughs> They got 70 HP almost on all of them. Almost on all of them. Let's uh, make this guy lose a little bit of health. So it's wheel turn. And I guess I can launch for a ball. Let's just launch for a ball. Can I do it on four? Yeah. And now I think quick and spell. Let's use uh, like magic missile again. Oh, 
Okay, I can heal, but I can't regain spell slots. So, let's use fly action. And just fly away, so maybe we'll, we'll be a lot more safer right now. Okay, he's jumping. He will fight Kung Fu Karlak. Concentration on invisibility. Don't know how useful it is. I guess my choice will be to go right here. And use channel divinity to recharge and short rest. So now we see everyone. And we kind of fine right now. Mind mastery. Not sounding really good for me. Let's go. I got advantage. Small smite is never a problem. And let's jump to these archers, finally. Karlak, what are you doing? Tactical. Oh my goodness, you get no actions right now. Let's just stay. To, let's just stay over here. I will just use free magic missile, like. Two on, like three, like two, two, two on you. Let's go three, one. Saves come to check all stuff. That's a, like okay. I mean, I did it a few times too, but then I stopped. <laughs> it's always a little bit fun because I knew I will play more than one time, or like for sure. And <laughs> more than two. Okay, fight is okay. We're like completely fine. I got like a few situations in, in this fight when this Druger just uh, threw me off. And this was awful situations. So I can knock him down, I guess. Not exactly. Not exactly. Okay, nice. I get bonus damage in this bow. I'm gonna make one with less to none. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to check stuff, but actually, it's fun to choose stuff and this, and then see what happens. Right now, I'm really enjoying this honor mod because I just can't <laughs> change outcomes, and uh, that's really interesting in some way. So, will. How much does this guy got health? <laughs> nice, you get high EC. And this cleric finally landing some hits. That's insane. Finally, we're landing some hits. I guess I can finish him with bow. Oh my goodness. Okay, I saved as much as possible. I saved just as much as possible. I put the wind back in my sails. So what I'm left with, I basically got it. I can create a spell, spell slot of level 3 with wheel, so we kinda like arrested. So I don't have those three points, but that's okay. I'm got all spell slots from cleric basically and one smite from paladin i'm completely fine so here we got very nice warhammer 1 to 10 damage 
You knock nearly nearby forest prone after killing hostile target or landing critical hits. Uh, that's very good. That's insane, actually. Hammer, and I will use it on Grim. Because Grim a robot, and most robots got vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. So this guy got nice stuff. 2d6 plus 6 plus 1. No. 1d4 radiant damage. One handed. Interesting. Both Banshee. So when a hit possibly inflict frightened. Nice gear. Nice gear. Yeah, Planner Bot is insane. You should definitely try to do it. So, Karlak is encumbered. And I know why. There is a reason. First of all, we got some barrels we don't need right now. And this is all barrels. I won't need them, like, pretty much soon. And I got Connor. <laughs> I got Connor in a party. Not in a party, but in a pocket. It's my pocket corner, you know, like Pokemon, but his pocket corner. One day I'll catch a break. Jump, boys, and let's ride. Playing Evil Dark Ush Honor mod. I'm... <laughs> right now, most of my companions are dead left. Yeah, it happens. It happens with Dark Urch a lot. I will do Dark Urch right after this one. Right after good guy. I think it will be fun. Craft is ready to sail. Okay, so we got two two ways to do stuff right now. We can go across the lake or we can go back, regain uh, sorcery points. But I guess we will be like brave and let's continue journey. I don't want a lot of rests. I want to fight. <coughs> and here we are in the Grim Forge itself. Weapon are ready, lass. Company's calling. Bold gnomes, drigars, dwarfs, whoever they are. What do we got here? Dead hoon walking seems. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss? Not in the mood for another fight, believe it or not. Can we play nice? I am a true soul. In that case, a couple of known slaves stuck with him too. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. I'm not giving you a single coin, lady. Unclog your hole. <laughs> We're and big, so we must angry, first, scary, or not to mention we shouldn't give any coins. Slaves. So, Gail, what's up with you, please? My condition is worsening again. I need oh to my goodness! Powerful magic, or it may become volatile. What is eclerics nowadays? Okay, you can eat this club. You can... Oh, no, no, no. Eat this ring. You can eat this ring, Gail. Thank you. It is a strange experience. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It's somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fit you do plenty for me. I'm not... Thank you. Okay, Gail is fine. So, what's going on in Green Forge? Let's start this walkthrough. In... Why I got these quests over here? I'm not sure. What's in tea house? What's in tea house? Why I got tea house still? I guess it's travel through tea house over here. Okay, no matter. Here we got teleportation point and very nice trader. Very nice trader. 
there's actually a lot of loot here and for some reason we can use these chests to check and get everything from them in this place i want uh, like near boots boots that is on near right now and we will save him what brought it down you think a quake of how peculiar. And there is nice crossbow in this location. Couple I want digits. it too. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these the rock. The rubble. Take a look. So let's Tell take a look see. what we and can see. Thorough. Nice. The statue twos. Anything standing out? We succeed on this check. This one will be intelligence again. Boulders and stone, no quite. What do you think? And let's use wisdom check. Okay, I failed wisdom check. That's okay. I don't do Nothing roll for inspiration right now. Away. I'm ready to report my observation. So basically, you've left me with more questions. Well, let's see we're telling him a lot of stuff, and. If we would succeed on all checks, we will get this infernal iron for free. But right now we need to buy it. I guess that's a nice deal anyway. Infernal iron is really important stuff. So potion of invisibility. I like to stack them a little bit. Let's buy it. Any useful stuff here? I don't think so. Let's All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Let's use animal speaking potion on Will. You can rest now before going to near. Maybe, but I'm not sure. So technically I can't enter to this like part, yeah? So let's clear this side. I will try not to rest. Red eye. Catheric thorn, a familiar. The, the Catheric thorns are blessed to see many. I saw tusks and flies. So here we get some information on Catheric Thorn. Nothing really useful. Is the Grim much harder on her? I don't know. We will see. Nice armor. We can sell it. Like really powerful armor. It looks like these guys are dark justiciers. As you look at the skeletons, you realize they are no burial, just slaughter. Damn. You see nothing special, just torn and faded velvet tunics. Eat it. Okay, so here we got what we got here, actually. There should be a lot of loot over there. But first of all, let's go to these triggers. And let's help this Rosa. Deep Ross. You, grab a cane and whip these drug. That rub shouldn't be trouble for a brute like you. Damn right, I'm getting but we are a good guy. Cave. I will help or this beast. You, you got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to caning or to leaving. Let's use persuasion to understand what's behind the doors. Uh, fine. Look at this. If you enter, then you cannot. Okay. Adam, man, listen up. Don't get any smart ideas. That forges clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. Let's see what Go I can do. Seems like a good moment to So Bull. No more work. Oh must die. Breath, focus, bro. If you strike, you must just will destroy your heart. Yeah, hurt. So should I use like charisma 
No, I got high enough charisma. All right, we will work. We... And that's it. They will clear cave entrance. Not enough caning for my tastes, but you. I almost feel bad about this. <laughs> okay, you wanna fight? Adamantine is precious, Jarg. <laughs> All right. My lovely dwarven friend. Who is, like, his master? And this guy is not too important, I guess. Let's provoke opportunity attack. Because I don't care too much. And let me try just... To toss this lady... Okay, she managed to, to survive, <laughs> but not exactly survive. So what can we do? We're saving a resource right now. But I guess I can rest before entering near. I guess you're right. Can I hit you one more time, friend? No, okay. Hunter Mark. Interesting. Oh, this spell always miss. No! Don't attack animals, bro. Animals are friendly. Your friend will fly away. <laughs> it's always so funny. Okay. Nice. He has frosted a little bit. So, I got like problems. With my chance to hit, I will use all enmity and basically finish him with critical strike. Very good, very good. So I like the look of the shield. Whipping cane, interesting, interesting. This shield is just awful anyway. Sharp as ever. Hello, killer clown. Hello, 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 my friend. So what's inside actually? What's inside here? What are they looking for? They look looking basically for nothing because there's only skeletons over here. Oh no, there's some kind of stones. Okay, okay. This location got a lot of mini quests, traps, and I'm not in the mood to go to it right now. Probably will go there later. Right now, let's uh, get this little quest over here. Like, I would say mini quest that we can find just before going into this place. So there should be some hidden cache over here. Hidden chest. Yeah, Harper's Rune. Must be a cache nearby. So, cache somewhere nearby. And here's a wooden chest, and you know who is it? It's a Mimic Chest. Oh no, it's three Mimic Chests. For some reason, I thought there should be only one Mimic Chest. But that's okay. Let me check. Stats. So they basically got protection from every damage type. 
Karlak should like ignore resistance. Because she's level 6 monk. She should ignore resistance to these attacks. So our unarmed attack count as magical and we should overcome resistance and immunity to non-magical damage. So for some reason my attacks still doing low damage and they still using resistance. I'm not sure why. But I guess this chests really scared of fire. So let's use just some resource, then we can rest and go fight near. No, he stole my weapon. What's going on? Critical hit, wandering player. I guess this chest not liking Spirit Guardian damage. Need to turn it on passive? No, I don't need. So there is no like passive. It should be like a basic future. Key empowered strikes. Basically, your unarmed attacks count as magical for the purpose of overcoming enemy's resistance. That's it. Just because we can, let's check out. So I want to destroy this mimic chest with maybe like four arrows. For sure it will work. Yeah, it's definitely working. And now let's check out. So, maybe... It's only for key empowered strikes. So maybe it's working only when we use key points. So this strike will use key points. And it's still uh, becoming like halved by his resistance. So it's not working. Monk is broken. It should do a lot more damage. Fight. Let's go. Where is my weapon? Okay, very nice gloves for Bard. I will use action to equip my sword. And basically that's it, I can do anything else. Outflank. Outsmart. And now you die to the light, my friend. So there's little tiny toy chest. Let's press on it and here's Harper's stash. We can open it with our lockpick. I got really big lockpick. And here's scroll of evidence. And scroll of fear. And that's it, basically. Anyone can use Directly. shovel over here. No use digging, no use digging here. Okay. I guess that's fair. So here is nothing interesting. Let's rest and let's go fight near. And I hope you're right so we can rest here before fight. I hope you're right. So let's go. Let's go in. Just to make sure there's no 
passive to turn on. Yeah, there's no passive to like turn on the strikes. Okay. Let's see what's going on on the top floor. Yeah, everything is okay. So we can go and help near. There's one more ring I possibly want to have on my team. And it lights it lies just over here. Just over here. Been the same since that rock slide. Ain't been the same. I see scamming the lot of us. So they trying to <laughs> toss Let's sure here to noms <laughs> of the clip. Nah. <clears throat> the half that weren't crushed are dick rocks. We should use perception to check corpses. And if we're lucky, we will find a ring. On this gnome. Shiny trinkets on one of the corpses. And now we can use sleight of hand. Of course, we don't have any sleight of hand proficiency, so we will use deception and ask them to go away. And we're lucky. We're lucky. Uh. <laughs> lazy Jones. I'm too lazy to do it. Thank you. That's kind of nice optimization stuff. You know, to run around and buff everyone with at least uh, something like... With at least... Long Strider. At least Long Strider. But come on, we can do it without it. We can do it normally. We can bow our head in respect. They deserve better than they got. And now we got Fetish of Calduran Smooth Lands. Basically, ring. This will give invisibility spell. So, perfect stuff for our wizard or like any other character. And there's no more cool loot over here. In this room, there should be like a secret door over here. If we succeed perception check, yeah. Or we can go through collapsed arcway. So we succeed perception check. And now we will get everything we need to free near up. Smoke, powder, satchel basically. Very powerful stuff. So there's actually two ways how you can <laughs> go about saving near quest when you're trying to save him. We can go upwards to the second floor through this through this like location and then go to this part of caves. Then we will find little gnome and she will help us to get some more powder satchels. Maybe I will do it, but maybe we'll just go. And try to make a fight. So... Let's try to make business with these triggers. Let's talk with them. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just as someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage. Can't go chasing maybes. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? So a shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with a true soul, no less. True soul, what do yeah. you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? Okay. That's very good because we're playing Oaths of Vengeance, so we can help them to do anything they want. And they want to get near out. Could be you're right. So in that case, want to earn some gold? Oh, <laughs> I always like some gold. 
Ain't my gold I'm offering. Thrin's after the absolute glory. But we ain't need glory. Help Thrin free near. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in. So now we can be in or use our persuasion to get half the spoils. Of course, that's what we're going for. Nice. Nice. Half. You drugnin. We are so drugnin. Fine. Half it is. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it. And don't get caught. The cult watches through it. And we can't risk more twats up. You still standing about? Get on it. So we need to destroy this eye first. But I need to find good location for assassination. So this big red bro right now is actually Hitman. Okay, I stop watching me. Stop watching me. Is I coming for me or what? What what is this I doing actually? He's following me. He's just following me. For some reason I and Dana. Okay, okay. I for some reason want to follow me. Let's try lure him over here. Will he follow such a long distance? Oh yeah, stupid eye. And we got only one chance, I, I guess. I got really high strength. Why is this eye not flying around? Okay, 100%. I'm in. I'm in. Goodbye, Mr. I. Still alive, so that's progress. Moving in. Okay, we will loot everything later. Right now, let's go to this Drugger's. Stupid eye. That was easy. I should speak up. I'm done with eye, bro. What I do now? The eyes clobbered. Good work. Good work. Thank you. Time to bust near out and shred him. Good. Drop it near the rubble when it's time. Flaming arrow or some such will set it off. So now I can fight near, or we can go backwards. To get my item actually let's do the stuff that will help me get item or I can do it later let me check let's get item let's get item first so near is actually in this part of Grimforge there should be no really hard fights But I'm not sure about Connor mod. Okay, let's let's just save near. Potatoes. These guys never interacted with me because I failed to persuade them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys, you need to persuade them, and then they will be in your party, basically. Oh, that's nice, Father Turk. That's nice. I like that it <laughs> can be somehow useful with my tips. Okay, guys, Sergeant Trin, are you the main leader over here? Heat up, charming. Move, Hoon. I don't have time for drugnan outsiders. The parasite, a true blood, is stuck in the famous near subject of the Mike. Thought you would. So, 
I had to fight near on my own, which basically is impossible because I found this place before exploring the rest of the Underdark and a lot of wilderness. Yeah, fighting near is, as you can see, is my last part of basically Act 1.5, Act 1, whatever you will call it. Can I get rid of these rocks with just one? With just one smoke powder satchel. I'm not sure exactly. We'll see. But bef before we fight near, ah, oh, actually we can fight near. So let's use some fire on this smoke powder satchel. And it's not enough. So I will use second one. It's very powerful bomb. But we need to wait until fire will be... Okay, no fire. Only ash. We can throw one more satchel. And let's blast near out. And blast fight him. Beldron is alive. Very good. Ah, wanna dance? Beldron. Maybe another time. Are you yeah. alright? What to do? Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been Nier does not fail. Nierge does not fail. Touch another innocent and I'll take your head you near for the weak true soul. Most curious. You dare speak to me without Frim Car if he indeed is a true soul, let the absolute save. <laughs> so we can act uh, like Paladin. You got my oath. Let's see Cooper will. Let's uh, just. You would dare. I'm faithful to Absolute. Poor gnome. Yeah. I wonder if we can start attack before he is dead. You she is dead. Crew are ten days worth of coin. Direct your blade at the heretic. You're damn right I'll have it. Me and that one, we got a deal. We got a deal. We so now the Zeruger is you our friend. With this near, strike him down. Prove your faith. Oh, of course we we side with this rebels. Heretics. We got a deal, bro. We got money. So you got nothing. So can we push near to this acid clouds or what is it poison cloud yeah down the hatch <laughs> we should be fine i should be able to like push him a little bit a little bit of movement that's how it works Let's maybe land a critical hit. Nice. So he uses... Is this legendary action? Yeah. So when he is attacked, near summon visages will detonate. Once per round. Let's see for how much damage. All right. All right. Interesting, interesting stuff. But I'm not like scared. I got a lot of druggers on my side. More. But this fight, if you don't have druggers on your side, is just crazily, crazily hard. And almost impossible. Or you will need to load a lot of times. Depending on your level, of course. 
I guess I will end this fight in two turns. Let's see what Nier can do. Shield of Screams. What is it? What is this shield? Increased by 3. So armor class is 15. It's not too much. Attackers take psychic damage with melee attack. We're not hitting you with melee attack, bro. So you're completely not correct with your spell choices. Poor near. Should I use level 3 magic missile? Let's just blast him. Just bluster. Okay. <laughs> easy. That was easy. Now let's finish with triggers. <laughs> what a stupid position <laughs> to die to lava. Okay. This guy wants to use Mind Mastery. Is it a bad idea to have a Bard, Warlock and Sorcerer in your team? So much charisma, my other one is Barbarian. No, it's like completely not a bad idea. I mean, uh, Bard is uh, Charisma Dexterity. Warlock and uh, Sorcerer is Charisma Mages, so you got a tank, you got Bard, who is kind of support, and... So his support and basically damage dealer from range, you can use uh, like a bow, crossbow Bard. I didn't want to fight versus this guy right now, so let's provoke an atta attack. Nice, we got high armor class right now. AC is the king, basically. <laughs> Just smite these boys. Alright, and now bonus action on you, bro. I can't move for some reason. Okay, now I can. And I will greet you. Down. To existence what a powerful character what a powerful character so can I use radiance of dawn my favorite spell actually what fight do you fear most in honor mod so I haven't checked any like honor honor mod changes to bosses so, in some, like, ways I'm playing blindly, Over kind there. of. This way I'm, like, most feared of uh, two fights. Keturik, uh, second form, and, and maybe Nether Brain. Okay, we got two additional friends. Let's actually push him. <laughs> Is he dead? Already? Okay. So I guess these two fights because I can't uh, like uh, play them smartly. All other fights I can somehow like save a uh, person, run away. Technically I can't run away from Ketrick fight. shit house. I'm not planning to like Cox use some fire stuff, stuff, you know. More Wait one million out. turns to kill him. Here's your cut. Clan. Time I Five hundred. Before more pricks Not bad. What about slaves? I want this shoot. place. I want the slaves. Can't just let the clan keep them. Let the gnomes go. Let the gnomes go. Okay, we're lucky today. We're definitely <laughs> lucky today. You got a point. <laughs> right now, at least. Sadly, we destroyed Shadow Heart at the beginning of the stream. Alright, Slaves is mine. Right now. And we are really inspired. So let's talk with them. My sister. A little bit. The decaying corpse lies before you. 
Let's do some brutal stuff. Oh my goodness. I guess it's okay. Under new management, <laughs> yeah. I can lend you a third left. You finish. Okay, we got his head. We got these boots. It will be Will's uh, Gale's boots. Seems thievery is not permitted here. Unfortunately for you, killing thieves is positively encouraged. Bro, we are the team. We are the team. Stop. Oh my goodness. It's not thievery. I just killed him. This is the point where the guard leaves you alone. But not today. Okay. Bro. It was such a bad idea of you. Or of me. We'll see, we'll see. Can I actually throw him into lava? I guess no, he's like too big. So let's topple him. Okay, it's a bad idea for for them actually. It's a bad idea for them to fight versus me. It happens to me first time. It happened to me first time. It never happens to me. I always was fine by looting like his body. Oh, he's encumbered. So let's use a bow. Just to maybe hit one attack. This is my time. No, it won't break my paladin nose. To break oath of vengeance, you basically need to not avenge people. Something like that. So you need like a reason to kill people. And uh, when people are angry at you, it's nice reason. It's like best reason for Oath of Vengeance. So it's like totally fine, it won't break my Oath. Bro, why are you throwing this stuff? No, Karlak. I need Gale turn. I need Gale turn now. Where is he? He is here. I hope he got nice movement speed. He can. Okay. I can dash. I can dash. So we get out of the silence. Now, mass healing ward. So Karlak will stand up and everyone will get blade ward and bless. Now everyone got this higher hit chance. Karlak can use bonus action, so it's not a problem at all. Yeah, also vengeance uh, breaking by everything. I like also vengeance. Because we can get advantage against any enemy with channel oath charge. I, in my opinion, it's like best channel oath charge. So 100% chance to hit and you always basically get an advantage on targets. If you don't have it otherwise. Still missing. And that's what I like about magic missile. You can cast it from melee range and you just don't care about them. So just cast it from melee range. <laughs> and my build is insane. So now I can basically fly away to the good position. 
I'm not <laughs> sure if, if it's a good position. You need to be a really nice guy and stand with the nature for all the pensions. <laughs> probably, probably. But I'm orc nice guy. Miss on an 80. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss on 80 is insane. Let's just finish them. Let's just finish them with Spirit Guardians. Karlak? One attack. Second. And third one. So look, he's got high defense and we can use all this wall entity and instantly we're getting 75 percent hit chance so now all your loot is mine basically what's up with my weight i'm not sure i guess i got so much useless stuff that we need to sell King's knife. What an interesting weapon. So it's doing 1d10, 1d8. Versatile, so you can use it with both hands, without proficiency. Very interesting stuff. Let's. Uh, who is not encumbered? I guess it's Karlak right now. There's so much stuff on them. Yeah, for carry capacity it's nice, but uh, Blood of Latandra is just better and we're going to act too soon. <laughs> Look at this Druiger. I guess she's a little bit dead right now. So, Barkus Root, here you are, my friend. The king of gnomes. You, I shouldn't be surprised, considering our history. And yet... Nothing good happens in the... I don't and so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Friend. Singular. I'm looking for Wolbrin. If anyone else should be incidentally helped, then bully for them. Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. Ha. Then again, a small rest. Hmm. Mm. Fine. Show me where to go, and I'll try my luck. And, um... Okay, this guy is fine right now. Wait. Like any 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 good gear? I don't think so. What about this lady? Thunderwave ring, cheese, some hammers. It will be for Karlak right now, and let's loot near finally. So he got dagger plus one. Not interested. Sword of screams. Funny. Mind flare. Broken moon lantern. Spider slur. We will equip it instantly. We'll instantly equip it. We'll need it later. So, is it hidden right now? And let's take everything else. Object catches your eye. A broken trinket. Beyond repair from the looks of it. Just while we, I'm looting. Yeah, maybe it's like a good idea, but not for communal use, it seems. Oh no, no, no! I'm not looting your friend. Relax. 
Who is the leader of gnomes? At least, if only there were more blessings. Beldron. Belt. No, no. Oh, who cares? I'm grateful. Don't mistake me. But glittering. Here. The Iron Hand. Ah, things the cult would like to know too, it seems. Let's use persuasion to get additional information. You'll call me mad, but fine. I, the expert, only whoop if they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. You really would. My business is what sent us after the powder to begin with now okay we will try to find Wilburn and save him now we get our quest going on so this lockpick won't work I guess but I guess I got another lockpick This lockpick should work for this chest. Ah, okay. Karlak. Do your job. Do your job, Karlak. What is Devil Foil Mask? <laughs> interesting, interesting mask. So basically, we just won near a fight. I want to sell everything, and we continue to Green Forge finally. So let's go to Mike and Colony right now. I'm going to do the Dragon Fight beneath Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I will definitely do it. I will definitely do it. Damn, it's good to be alive. Most of my hit chances are 30 and 50 on my Paladin Warlock. Am I doing something really wrong? Possibly. I, I don't know exact, exactly your build, but... Like, below 50 is uh, pretty low. Below 50 is really low hit chance. Yeah. Ah, a visitor. You just need You're to have advantage, sight. so you need to give advantage with your party members if you don't have advantage on your paladin by himself. Okay, let's uh, just uh, sell arrows into him. I'll do it all the way, just spamming my left mouse button. Increase bottle will be useful, maybe. So here we got some wares. Nice. So will is clear right now. Gale, what do you have? These stupid items. Gale's pouch. You can have it. Carlock. So Aaron is clear. Only my main character is still loaded up with a lot of stuff. And Karlak loaded up All right. a little bit, but we can't sell stuff that is on Karlak right now. So his spores, I will leave it. Adamantine slack. We need this Adamantine slack for now, I guess. Because we're going to Adamantine forge. So I'm selling everything beside... I will just sell this club, I won't use it anyway. Nice. He got a lot of gold. Everyone got a shield? Yeah. I have a lot on my mind and well, in it. Now we're fine. Could sustain an and Gale can have this awesome boots.
Let's go back to Green Forge. Yeah, by the way, one of the ways where you got low hit chance, this nice tip, Lazy Jones, that's nice tip. Hi, what's what's up, Nordstrom? What's up? So, when you got low hit chance, like 30%, maybe you got feet great weapon master all in. And you can go to passives and turn it off. I got it uh, on my custom part, so I pressing it with my like mouse buttons, not uh, my keyboard. I'm using keyboard to use this stuff. So basically, you just go to your paladin, and you will have passives. You can drop it, and you can turn it off on manually or however you like. And when it's turned on, you will have minus five penalty. So it's like thirty percent now, but when I turn it off, it's 55% already. Very well. Open up. And it's time to go. To go and get some items and kill Grim. <laughs> lawful evil character. What do you mean by lawful evil, uh, evil character? Are you trying to like be evil but good at the same time? So right now I want to go on other side of this place and if you want to do it normally like normal person you basically going up this corridor disarming a lot of traps trying to like use everything to your advantage to go on other side because there's a lot of traps over here there's some gear we can find here and pretty nice gear actually so let's disarm these traps some blast mines but of course we got will the sorcerer And he can buff wall party. And party can jump <laughs> without using any additional stuff. You have my attention. And because Will is sorcerer right now, we can basically fly with him. Can I just dash before flight? Okay, there's one more blessed mine. Bad things, but with the confi but within the confines of the law. Okay, I got it. Where am I needed? I have a lot on my mind and well, in it. Wonder if the Is there anything me? here actually? Footprints, quite small. Too. Where do they lead? So where do this footprints lead? Small footprints. Bloody tracks, quite small too. Are they going over no, here? Found some trouble here? Maybe there's some little like quests, but the part where I want to go, it's here. It's basically over here. And again, easiest way to go. 
down there is just to cast Feather Fall. Is that blood? No, never mind. And we are done. Of course, there is instantly a fight. We are surprised. Two steps at a time. Let's jump and help our friend. Gail, my friend, why are you not helping? Well, well, well. While Featherfall is still working. Yeah, Mizora is a nice example of local evil. So can I destroy these guys and not die myself? Are they resistant to slashing? Yeah, they resistance to slashing. That's why you play Orc. You can basically pick him up. This should be a super easy fight, but for some reason I'm dying. Let's use Scorching Ray. Carlock. Do some magic. All right. So this jelly boys is almost done. Can I cleave them? Two at a time. Nice. And one more attack can finish this boy. And great weapon master all in attack. We missed. It happens. Let's try to stun him. Saved. Happens. <laughs> but the law isn't always reasonable. Nice point, nice point. What's it gonna take? Okra jelly. You done? For some reason they got interesting stuff in them. I got nice uh, amount of bombs. And coolest part, we're hitting level 6 right now. Too much to bear. I want a little bit more health. Don't want to die. But I guess we are fine. So let's go to the top part of this road. And... Uh, if you go in here first, before nearer, you will find Lady over here. She will give you these satchels of, like, bomb satchels, basically. She will be right over here in this door. It looks like it's closed, but we can go from <laughs> another side. I guess I can enter only with Karlak. So there's only backpack left from her. And on this map, we will see another location that I showed you earlier. So, Sharon's Journal. Tablet Fragment. Any useful information? No. No useful information right now. So, we're going out. And let's find... Hell bores. They should be somewhere nearby. I guess over here. Don't jump, orc. We're going to this side.
Gortash. Gortash is a weird person. Gortash is a really weird person. So, mages, again. Don't want to jump for some reason. I guess because they get low strength. Two steps at a time. Gale, you got high strength. Come on, you can jump. With magic. Let's explore. Well, let's check out. Is Boris here or we should jump to the top part of this place? Yeah, here is like secret room that they can open. Another button. And while this room is really basic, there's a lot of silver trays and silver other silver stuff. You can sell it for a large amount of gold. So basically every tray is like 10, 12, 20 gold. So it's nice to steal a little bit over here if you're not lazy. And just sell housewares and... Okay, we can go back. Here goes nothing. And I guess we need to go from this side. Do you have a good way to deal consistent damage with clerics? I would say spirit guardians. <laughs> That's it, basically. Spirit guardians is just bread and butter spell for clerics. So now we need help of Will again and hand slip for everyone. And it's not only consistent but also very like powerful. Let's move. So we can jump like over here. Let's go. Jump. Jump, 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 everyone. Will, will you jump? Yes, he can jump. Okay. Can we do something like... This and then fly, for example. Oh my goodness. I should have... Uh, <laughs> not sell this club. He could, he could like, uh, jump with, with the club right now, but I sold it. So, is Will out of the fight? I guess we need to swap the boots to Will right now. And just use Misty Step. On the top floor, please. Give Gale his boots back. Your desire. Can't give up now. Light on my feet. And here we are. Here we are. I'll give it a shot. Closed room, but we can open it. And instantly we are in a battle. Instantly. Let's go and fight Mary John first. Actually, like, clerics don't need this consistent way to do damage, but they got it. Clerics is, like, buff characters. At least should be. Alright. In 
insane damage, insane damage will. attack so here we get the de foil mask one more elixir of fire resistance and a pulling chest so in this chest there is a fire stroker For some reason this guy decided to lie down and if I'm not mistaken this crossbow should get the uh, ability to use Scorching Ray. But no, it doesn't. Okay, but now you know where to get Fire Stroker. I hoped to use Fire Stroker on uh, Will to get additional Scorching Ray. Maybe it's another crossbow. So we are kind of ready here and we can go to our friend. Let's get back to my canid colony. Let's wait. Let's not wait. Like rest one more time. I can't imagine Raphael on Honor mode. Yeah, I'm actually like uh, in a little bit of dilemma. Will I fight Raphael or not? I will delay this far uh, this fight as far as possible anyway I will delay it for the end of this like run but do I want to fight Raphael before like nether brain and then go to nether brain with the best armor oh no that's a question that's actually a big question that need to be answered one day I'll catch a break Raphael should be really strong dude and the uh, problem with Raphael is actually um, we can't use no our smites. He got uh, this like Some radiant, radiant like he's doing radiant damage when we're doing radiant damage to him. There, I forgot the name yeah, about this like passive. Hmm. But the iron hands. Okay, now we give him nearest head. And this quest is done. Peace bringer. The drop in dealing as our circle. So he gives us voice of circle and voice amulet. And we can get plus two bonus to persuasion checks for ten turns until the long crest. Interesting stuff. So they will dance now. It's very funny. But who cares? Let's go back to Grim Forge and finish everyone, basically. Glob of Vulnerability? Yeah. I guess for Dragon Fights too. It should be like must have spell. Especially considering. <laughs> I failed my shadow heart today. And the problem not only shadow heart, other problem is uh, that by failing shadow heart, I won't be able to use tadpole powers with my bonus action because I felt this like Gitanki Crochet thing. Is it truck or what is it? So here we go. Where is Grim Forge? It should be down there. I hope I'm going to the right place. No, no, no. Should be going completely opposite side. Where is like easiest entrance to here? Let's go from this side. Let's go from this side. Will again saving our party. Lactation. 
I don't know, but in my opinion, it's just must have spell. And hand slip. In in the game when no one know how to fly yet. No one stopped me yet. So now we're going to Adamantine Forge. There is splint mold. Heavy. That's actually what we need. We can use any mold. We will find some. They are all over the place. Some molds. And we can craft gear with these molds. So, Monstrosity Slayer. Maybe we can use it. But we'll see. Forge your blade in the fires and raise it in the mystery. And here way. is teleport location. Yeah, totally forgot we got waypoint here. So we can jump with one character. So we can make mace and this mace will be awesome too. Whenever you attack anything that is not that is like object, you will do additional damage. Medium scale mail. A little bit of fighting here and there. Karlak for some reason not in a fight, so we can teleport, fight, and try to sneak up behind them. I guess while she's hiding, she can jump and still be hiding. Okay, now, wait, 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 Karlak. Can you jump from here? Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. So there's like three guys over here on top. Karlak, I guess, not care at all about them. So there's like two attacks at one bro. Let's do critical hit. Whatever. And we leveled up. Insanely good. Insanely good. I will save this lack of realms for a grim fight. But I can live without one crit from Karlak. Twenty-five percent chance to hit. I should off this great weapon once you're in on this guy. With haste. Okay, small fight here. I don't want to use spell slots at all. So what I have is Shocking Grasp. It's advantage because he's like weak to this ability. Now we can safely get back. Animated armor is done. Carla got very nice movement speed. I enjoy it. <laughs> that wasn't a greatest move. He basically ran away from us. Carla pushed him. Okay, he saved from this ability again. I mean, can I shoot him with a bow? I won't even try 35% chance to hit. All right, my friend, you should be done right now. Rolled more than enough. Hit him. So here should be another mold, yeah, scale male mold. Somewhere over here is one more mold. 
but most importantly we need this adamantine over here to craft our weapon Let's use our fist. Kung Fu Panda. I mean Kung Fu Karlak. Little bit of mitral ore. And now while well, getting mitral ore and all other stuff, we are really ready to go. So another like mini quest we can do here is to find amulet. I guess for safety reasons, I'll just give Karlak enhanced sleep and further fall. So she's kind of a little bit protected. And now let's go, boys. Just over here. Find secret amulet. Where is Lava Elemental? Oh, here he is. Like... So, Amulet should be in this chest. Let me just ch take this chest with me. He's not fighting versus us. It's totally fine. How to open this chest? There's two ways actually. One way is to find a real key to this chest. And another way I guess I will just take this chest to the camp and use... And just use knock spell <laughs> and it will be unlocked i hope it will work it should it should work at least i'm not sure exactly but we'll try we'll try to do it we need to try like new stuff every now and then anyway so we kinda ready to go into the forge. We kinda ready to go into the forge. So I guess let's go. Okay, cross your fingers. Ladies and gentlemen, cross your fingers. Grats on level, yeah, thank you. Just as what planned. So level 7 is really nice level. So now Monk don't have any good like powers and we can definitely switch to rogue instantly it won't give us any cool stuff but whatever sleight of hand and acrobatics i better get athletics to push enemies away more often what will be made? Uh, heavy armor. Heavy armor is just too good. Will is my sorcerer, of course. So Will will get new spells. What spells it will be? I'm looking forward. I can get knock spell on Will. Maybe. Just why not? So what I need here from sorcerer. He don't need Misty Step because he's, he got uh, his like flying spell. Haste is always nice, but it's just a little bit weak on Honor Mod. I mean, it's not giving you a lot of stuff. 
But additional action is always additional action. So let's go for utility and pick knock. I don't like level 3 spells. I got fireball already, so I don't need anything else, basically. I love this spot. Got me through my first playthrough builds. Never played a CRPG before. That's great for that's great, Brandon. Nice to nice to hear this. Nice to hear that. So improved warden clear. That's insane stuff. Again. As for our friend Gale, we don't need a lot of stuff. I'm not sure what protection from energy I need in this fight. Basically, protection from energy is really good if you know what's coming next. So if you understand that next enemy can have these like, resistances, it's kind of good. But we will focus on Spirit Guardians anyway. And maybe finally, finally, I will get like animate dead in my hands and sometimes I will be walking with zombies sometime or let's use spiritual weapon for now let's use spiritual weapon for now is it it now we are still with paladin I mean with circadin so any useful spells I guess no. We can use like chromatic orb. Maybe from time to time we need some different spells. And of course, twin spell. And careful spell, I guess. No, no, no. Distant. Distant spell, of course. How does it work with saving on corner mode? Does the game just self-save? Uh, when you leave game, it just saves. Uh, you can uh, like make quick save from time to time. And you can do it just in case your game crash. It can be loaded. So it can be loaded if you do it. But... All other stuff is basically not working. When you're trying to exit game, it's self-saving itself. And basically that's it. Every decision is permanent. You can't load. So very fun, very like intriguing to play. Okay, so my idea, my idea actually is to leave someone on top. Maybe even two guys. So it could be like will like 100% will be on top. Like exactly over here. Maybe we can go with him on this ledge. Maybe on this ledge. And what, what happens if I die? It's just gonna right, no restart from checkpoint. If you die, there's like two options. One option is to <laughs> agree with Honor mod and just delete your save. So it's just a, like an option. And there's a written like, delete your save. That's it. I need to keep Sword of Justice, by the way. Uh, or you can continue game, it will be continued like uh, on honor mode difficulty, but uh, it's not honor mod, So you can save load again and you won't get achievement. That's like basically main pain point So what's down here and where is Grim coming from? I can't actually remember exactly, but I guess we'll find just in a second So he should come from like this gate, I guess. From this side, if I'm not mistaken. On my way. Let Gale stand over here. Looking ahead. My the paladin will be forward. over here, and Karlak. No, no, Karlak will stand over here, and paladin will do other stuff. So. Let's put mold over here. We got different molds, and of course, we are making heavy splint mold. I don't need any other molds. Can I sell them actually? Yeah, for one gold. I'll leave it here.
Okay. I'm kind of ready. I'm a little bit nervous. I suggest playing a tactician run first and then going in honor mode if you haven't yet. He comes out of the drain on the left. Where is left? Yeah, he, I mean, he should come from this. Yeah, from Lava Valve. Lava, lava Valve. Valve. Okay. So, this will put down our location. This will put down. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Gale need to survive, so he should be staying over here somewhere, so he can heal everyone. Carlock will try to lure him over here, basically, so she can stand right here instantly. I guess I'm ready. I guess I'm ready. So this won't work right now. Oh, okay, it's just releasing. It's just releaser. Mold? Where is my mold? Heavy mold. I want this awesome armor for myself. Let's go down. Break a leg. All right, it's not pushing me down. I should put a diamantine here. I totally forgot how what I need to do actually. Like someone got a diamantine slug, I guess. It's Karlak. So Karlak got this mitral ore, yeah. That's how you do it. So now we got mitral ore. It's full. So now we can go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, Gale, I guess Gale will, will stand over here. This is the moment. Yeah, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. So what, like, items I can use? I mean, like, we got a lot of stuff here Still alive. is this action so yeah it's an action <laughs> to make this guy alive and i guess it's the time to make a robot summon to summon the robot basically uh let's put carlock and my friend on different positions and before the fight i want to do smart smart move because uh, we don't want to attack him all the time, I need to put opportunity attack on Ask for my nice guy, of course, and for Karlak, the melee fighters. I, sh I guess it's like smartest way to do it. Watch for his push into lava. I will watch. I never fought him <laughs> on counter mode yet. Drop Z start. Yeah, I got it. So, I mean, like, we got Will over here. I guess he can do some stuff. Maybe he should stay on this ledge. Target is too far. Come on. Will, come on. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we will stay over here, I guess. Or... Do we? Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I guess that's like best location to bombard him from the top with Will. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good luck. Okay. Last preparation. Magic weapon. So we keep concentration. spell slot of level one of course so we got more smites and basically that's it nothing more to prepare yeah i haven't forgot anything i guess let's 
Let's drink potion. To dip our weapons in poison. What a jump. Thank you, thank you. It's a glorious jump. Lava coming. Lava coming. All right. The moment. The moment. What's going on? Is this a giant robot? Oh my goodness. This is it. This is it. Alright. What he can do, basically. What can he do? So, he got 450 HP for now. He got, uh, like, vulnerability to blood joining. That's why I cube hammer. So, I was right. And he got this when he's staying in lava. He will be super heated for two turns. Insane, insane. Maybe he wants a hack. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. All right, so legendary action. Adamantine reverberation. When struck, grim adamantine from reverberates. So, doubling its movement and granting is 10 temporary hit points. Losing the temporary hit points triggers a shockwave that knocks target back for meters. I mean, he can't do every attack. Or, or can he? I mean, so if I attack less than 10 damage, he will heal himself. Or what's going on? All right, let's try to do it. Karlak, normal attack, please. So we are basically treated. Oh my goodness, 35 damage. So don't stay in lava, please. Okay. Okay. Should I wait with Paladin right now? How much time I got for dipped weapon? Let's just skip a turn. Let's just skip a turn and see what happens. So, Karlak can... Okay, I shouldn't skip a turn. I should, like, throw potion at Karlak, but... Wherever. Let's use mass healing ward. Level 3 spell, but we need it. So now we get Bless and Dipped in Potion and Blade Ward for everyone here. Okay, let's see what happens. Silence would be good for the thunder damage if you have some way of casting it. No, I don't have it. Okay. Import improved wa warding flare. Nice. Garlic is still alive. She's still alive. And here is the time. Will magic missile hit this bro? No, it's doing zero damage. Yeah, it's hitting him. It's hitting him. Magma methods? What's going on? Why is there magma methods in the fight? Why is there so much of them? Hit metal? Come on. That's so cheesy. Can I use it one more time, right now? Because I used it on first turn with Will. So can I use it on second turn as uh, Gale? Stop you- Oh my goodness, we just dropped our weapon. What a stupid enemies.
Okay, I need to use my action to equip weapon anyway. And possibly I will just use speed potion. Or bloodlust potion. Do we have bloodlust potion? No, they all in the camp, so I'm saving them for later. Let's use speed potion. So I can destroy a few magma methods. 85% chance to hit. I like it. This will use action, so I'm not using it right now. Okay, he's done. Oh my goodness. So I will use him as uh, like attacker of lever. Maybe I will do one more damage instance. Yes! It's definitely doing damage to him. This is my happy place. Sorry, I can do it third time? I can do it three times in a row? It would be easiest fight in my life. Zero damage? Why, why zero damage? Okay, he's not uh, in lava anymore. He's like lost his condition. So that was like stupidest decision. Let's give more bless. As Karlak, I better get rid of this Memphis. Will Karlak survive lava? How much damage is lava actually? Oh, it's tricky. I better jump. Okay, I guess we're fine. And now he's super heated again. So now we can like do some attacks again. Alright, what we can do with Kale? Destroy some magma methods, I guess. Two arrows per method is more than enough. <laughs> I lied to you. We need more arrows. So, like, one more, two more, one more, so you will get three. You will get maximum arrows. Magic missiles. That's it. Will is just MVP. Magic missile build. Like my favorite one. Karlak, I need you to keep this guy over here. Oh! Okay, now it's main character time. It's time for main character. Nice jump. Right. So it will be hard. Let's turn off this all in. It will be hard to hit him because <laughs> I just take a step backwards. <laughs> but we are Sorka Dean, so he got a protection from force damage. Yeah, he got some some protection from force force damage, but not a lot. So I guess we can lure him with his arrows right now. Definitely, definitely. It's just nice. I'm not sure will this hammer hit him right now or not. Gale, please. Don't blow up the sink. Yeah! We did it, boys! We did it, we did it. And Orc stand up because he is Orc. Their saving throw failed. Okay, heavens. What to do? 
All right, guys. And we got adamantine splint armor at the same time. Nice. I like it. So this armor is very rare heavy armor, which reduces all incoming damage by two. And when melee attacks hits, your attacker is sent to reeling for three turns. And reeling means they will get penalty to attack rolls for every turn of reeling. Very nice stuff. We can't be critical hit it. And we will use right now on our paladin this awesome armor. I will give it to my other classes. But uh, it will be maybe late game armor for cleric. Very nice armor actually. Maybe not. I will see. So what's on Grim? On Grim there is Grim School Helm, heavy armor, which can give us the ability to cast Hunter's Mark. So who's wearing heavy armor and don't have anything? Like, that's better. Momentum is more cool, so we will sell it, this helmet, but it's fine. But it's completely fine, I guess. Nice work, thank you, thank you. Loot well earned, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't need this loot, but yeah, this was nice. I haven't encountered these guys previously too. I guess it's, they kinda knew. I used for Hammer before. On my second playthrough actually. Because on my first, I haven't understood like how to use it and uh, did all run without this stuff, basically. So that's it. Now we need our characters to go back to Ancient Forge. <laughs> Carla currently laying down the job. Yeah, she can be saved. In Honor mod, you lose when you just lose all characters. When they die, it's like okay -ish. Let's call it like that. So, who got this awesome adamantine chest? Let me drop it. And now, Will. I heard you got new spells in your disposal. A lot of new spells, actually, so... Utility stuff goes here. Call lighting. Yeah, that's why I'm playing sorcerer. So some utility spells over here Some pushing spells over here Like when we want to push someone utility exploration and sorcery points, okay So can I use knock on this chest? Definitely that's how you basically never use any Keys and just open everything so, this amulet will go to Karlok, and that's Sentient Amulet. Very, very fun stuff. We can use it to restore key points. We can use it to cast Shatter. <laughs> and he speaks just like wizards. Like it was left under the sun. Suddenly the metal said, Can thou endure? And now we need to use wisdom and of course monk wisdom with advantage. Oh my goodness. I guess There's that's no fine. Escaping the laughter. <laughs> mushrooms. Walking brains. It's all so comical. <laughs> Okay, and here we got Monk Manifestation. And thou shalt glow with blessing to thy granddaughter. She, she waits. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. So he will give us blessing if we get him to his daughter or granddaughter, if I'm not mistaken. Granddaughter, yeah, at Worms Crossing. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> 
Let's focus on Entity and see his intentions. Yeah, I guess he's fine. I guess he's fine. Pretty now is not a time for dreaming. Open thine eyes. It's gone. It's... And he will, like, <laughs> sink from time to time. So, now we're completely free to go to Underdark, I guess. We just completed everything here. The smoke powder reserve, we already took it. And going to Underdark will be done through... I want to check out the house just for a second. Just for a second. And then let's go to Underdog. Why I got this tea house quest? Yo. Oh, yeah. okay. I guess because there's like teleportation in there. I like whatever, whatever. Let's go, let's go to Rosemond Monastery. So, because uh, we helped little birdie to get his nest back, he got us location. He gave us location of secret chest that he found. So let's get loot from the chest and let's get to act number two. Why not? And basically in Act 2 we will almost complete all my builds. Almost will be ready Time to, press ahead. to do some stuff. So now we need to go upwards. Hills made for weary souls. And here it is, secret location. You can find it, by the way, even without birdie. More importantly, the land west of here suffers under a terrible curse. You've seen it for yourself. And he is wailing gold, gold chalice, and some oils. If we continue this way. Okay, we kinda rested, we kinda rested. And there's angry skeletons. Let's... Let me use a little bit of, like, cheat codes. <laughs> I will use spirit guardians first. And now we're going in, now we're going in. With one of the misty steps, basically. To surprise them. No, I was too late. The house stays in quest lock until you find hidden under dark portal. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Come on, Karlak. Show them who you are. Damage is very good. Shepherds suck? <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, they're not like broken or super powerful. Let me turn this stuff off, by the way. I don't need this asking after the fight, okay? But, worst part about them, 
that they actually get ability to resurrect their friends so he just resurrected this ghoul so we need to get rid out of the skeletons first I want to test uh, one thing in this fight I got one oil that should give me ability to ignore resistances and immunities so I need to check this oil out Let's go for coal lighting, I guess. And fly away a little bit. Coal lighting is very good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they like to reset them each other. So, let's check out this oil. Where is this oil? I guess it's on wheel. As you can see, I made my character's will is just potion holder so there's the oil so we should overcome resistance to different damage types and gale clear road please and let's use sunbeam level six spell by the way i can't hit the shepherd or what Will I hit everyone? No, just two person. Okay. And a little bit of Mr. Step is never a bad idea. Carlock, just destroy one shepherd, please. And let's destroy one ghoul. Light cleric is just insane. Warding clearer, very good. Now it's will turn, so he can come close. Use reactivate cold lighting, for example. And fly away. That's the strategy. Oh my goodness. They in the loop again. So let's see. He got resistances. We should overcome them now. Let's do it. So 10 damage is still not overcoming resistances. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, like think of uh, honor mod because it should work. We should overcome these resistances every time, basically. Maybe it's honor mod sync. So we can't overcome resistances and we need to think how to play without this stuff, basically. Makes sense, it makes the uh, game a little bit more interesting, I guess, and challenging. Because when you can ignore resistances, it's um, just too easy. Just uh, because uh, game is made on D&D rule set. And not everyone knows it, actually. So D&D is tabletop game where you sit with friends, roll the dice, and this game based on this rule set. And think about tabletop game, you can't get uh, like enemy HP, enemy resistances and other stuff. You need to just try things out and see what works. So here we just can... <laughs> right click examine and see every like stat of the enemy Hells. the absolute forces have taken farther to moonrise towers so i guess it makes sense for honor mod if they just blocked this ability and by the way we fought this fight without 
potion on Karlak without potion. And Karlak got 8 strength right now. Okay, guys, I, I don't know, but I guess I need to put Connor. <laughs> I can't uh, drop him. Can I drop him in a chest, actually? Like, yeah. So can I pick up this chest and send it to camp? Okay, so Connor will wait me in camp. I guess it's like a better idea to do it. I don't need basically like anything besides grease bottle. Maybe I will use this sometime. Maybe this. This oil is nice. Advantage on concentration saving throws. No, we don't need it. So here we are. This everything goes to worse. I need to just sell everything right now. And then go to under dark. My characters are fine. Sharp as ever. <laughs> Very good guy things to do. Because because on yesterday or oh, day before yesterday stream chat was uh, like I put a poll what we do for the chat. And Turned out we got more min maxers than <laughs> role players, and I was forced to basically betray Mariana and get Auntie Ethel hair. So I need to get this man body to Mariana in Act Three. I want I want to get him back to his wife. Let's talk with the darkness traveler pulling at the strands of the weave. <laughs> the very same. There's a lot of dialogue here, but we will just be nicely with this old man who's looking like Gandalf. He's very pleased. So basically we just skip this boring dialogue, but we understand here. Farewell. That Gale got a mission, a mission to destroy the world. We, it's time we dealt with the we're not Fountain giving him room. this option. She revealed herself. I sought across her bound. We come now to the crux. What if? Here. You see through Gale's eyes. Oh no, it's too. It's claws. It's unstoppable. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, remains rather work. So we are fine. Let's leave camp. I admire your courage, Gale. Elminster is lech, yeah. Thank you. Any particular reason? I'm about to go into this fight in Honor Mod as Shadow Heart. Thank you for the reconnaissance. <laughs> no problem, no problem. What can I say? Mother always told me to be a gracious host. That doesn't seem like you're playing anything kill. Yeah, we are the good guy. We are the good guy. We can always have Gale blow himself up in Monroe's Tower, it will end game early. Yeah, but I'm not sure if it will make me win the Hunter mod, and I want to see all bosses in Act 3 in Hunter mod. It will be fun. And I want uh, this golden die. So, yeah, golden dice. Does it count until completed? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. This darkness. Okay, we see a goblin. Uh, are you the 
true soul. So, I'm not sure if I will <laughs> go brutal way until Noah kills them until you're next. Will I keep my oath or not? I don't have time for this. Be gone. Okay, we need to grab a torch. No, 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 no. Don't go here. Torch will encumber me. Because I got like one million items on me right now. Who got the torch? We need at least one character with the torch. We'll get the torch. More than enough. Hero of the Forgotten Realm. Any elited powers I can use on Will, by the way? Let's just keep them for now. Let's just keep them for now. I want more spell slots. I won't be able to use cold lighting, but that's no okay. On my way. <laughs> Fetch! Fetch! Ah! Just seen it. I'll take it, you're the true soul. We'll Let me check in. this out. Okay, he got 31 HP. He's pretty powerful, if you Sorry. ask me. Hold the true soul. Forgive me. I did not see you in the well, <laughs> Let's finish this dialogue. Go through and talk to Kansif. One last waiting. thing. Go and finish boat bone. <laughs> but we're ready to go. So by choosing this option. We, just need to tell Kansif inside. we can use elite it without any so like checks or paladin. Until you know what happens no. next. No. He basically no. disappear. With this crazy cries. Gail, why are you talking to this mister? If it was but speak to me. Let's get going. What's so let's discussion? speak with him and summon the spider. True, so did you bring the liar? Good. Then pluck a tune, and I'll guide. Let's pluck a tune. Stuck. Let's pluck a tune. We can summon spider other ways, but let's try to make a tune. Amazing, amazing. Please don't luck. Game, come on. Not at this moment. This beautiful moment of beautiful song. My goodness. Sorry for that. <laughs> I hope I won't crash. Please, game, not don't crash. What's happening? That's my SSD, actually. It's just lagging sometime. When Windows updates or something like that. It should be like nice right now. Yeah, it's coming back finally. Greatest tune of all time. Agree, agree, agree. Just as intended. Yes, I hear them, Your Majesty. Someone pinch me. So spider Please. coming. New flesh. For you. Best introduce yourself. And here we go. Turn-based mode. <laughs> yeah, game is done. Hello, hello, Mitty's Dream. Hello. So there, right now, is our friends. 
But I don't think they should be our friends for too long. I guess Gale... We don't have Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians is like must have spell right now to do this encounter. But I guess I can go with like... This awesome spell. Let's use Burning Hands. All right. So she get, uh, he gets Sanctuary. That's fine. I'm not feared about this, like, lady. But we need to get rid out of orcs first. In my opinion, it's like best way to go about this encounter. Just kill the orcs. He's still alive. Wait for Harper Ambush. No, I don't like Harper Ambush. They will steal my like a lot of my stuff actually. So he got companion but we'll don't care about companion you will die bro then you will die and let's try to attack this hyena once incredible will all is always awesome we are the good guy and the good guy thinks spiders with the sword is the bad guys and good guy mission is to destroy these bad guys so he's got sanctuary right now i still haven't changed my sword but that's okay so now i got magic weapon is he undead of hint his humanoid draw his humanoid Actually, I never knew he's humanoid. This gives me a nice idea, actually. So you can have advantage. No, Monk is, like, incredible DPS. My Karlak right now is Monk. And... You can check out her DPS just right now, look. She's doing, with normal attack, <laughs> with uh, ec with normal attack, 16 to 27 damage. And it's pretty big number. So this guy got 26 health. She can basically one-shot him with one punch. And she can do two punches. And additionally, she can do one more double punch. So she's incredible and Monk is incredible. I got a lot of monk builds on my channel so you can check them out as always okay so because he's humanoid i can hold person him yeah <laughs> yeah i always thought he's like uh, i don't know fiend monster undead whatever so i guess i need to change my voice and say something like you shall die something like that with like critical hit and of course uh, divine critical hit and do it two times and one more time with uh, bonus action insane stuff he's just destroyed oh my goodness that's why you take hold person and now it's gale turn blood of latander So first of all, I will loot everyone, and then I will loot this bro. I don't want to be encumbered, so who got some, like, slots? I guess it's scale. Most excellent. And as you can see right now, this spider crying for help. But it's not a spider, it's moon lantern. Okay, I will set you free, bro. Lantern. 
lantern gives up. You notice that by picking up this lantern, oh we get a little dialogue with Dolly Dolly. We can just think what's going on, or we can basically release the pixie. Everyone will approve it. And this Dolly Dolly will give up protection from Shadow Curse. So that's how you get in protection from Shadow Curse and travel freely in this region, basically. So now I got my main weapon. I don't need the sword no more. I don't want to use bitter. I don't want bitter divorce to be in where so sent to camp right now. All right, so this sword deal an additional one d six psychic damage. Basically, every time. An additional one d four poison damage when wielded by draw against restrained targets. So that's not a big deal. We can restrain with the sword. It, the sword got ability to restrain targets, but my main reasoning for the sword is to basically have this 1d6 psychic damage always. While I'm, I will like concentrate on any type of spell. I don't have concentration spells right now. My sword will deal additional 1d4 damage from Conduit Ring and additional 2 damage from Caustic Band and additional 1d6 poison damage whenever I heal. So this sword basically will do something like 50 damage in one attack. That's main idea of the build basically. Because we got a lot of wares, let me just drop them on Karlak. And we can go to Last Light Inn. To sell everything, chill a little bit, and hear beautiful songs. There will be no ambush. If we don't have spider on our team. Okay wrong turn we need to go here basically the last light in is this big white globe somewhere nearby What's that? if you just entered this act but i don't go anywhere else besides this road so go only by the road if you're like turn somewhere there was a struggle here. it will be a problem didn't want to go wherever they were anything taken. good on these guys worn key maybe we'll need it i'm not sure monk only party yeah it would be, it would be really fun Monks is insane. And here we are in Last Light Inn. This place is protected. You might find allies here, or at least supplies. You there? Who are you? Who are you? I am as a nice guy. I've sworn the oath to deliver justice at any cost. Duly noted. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Come, Jahira. And here, Jahira. I'm Paladin. Well, I am certainly no innocent Paladin, so I'll bind you. This is why we're here. It's that it knows its Ted own. Ball. You should never have come here, true soul. I am not a true soul. He's the one who... Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Say two of my friends. I pretty much... And here's the mole, because we're a nice guy. What in the hell is that thing? Congra mole will help us. Me. We helped him before. Why have they... So it's we're him. here to destroy Absolute. Damn it, mole. Oh my god, soldier. 
Copper. And here oh, we nice. are. Let me drink potion of animal speaking. We will need it in a second. I like this song. It's so like soothing and relaxing. Stock up while you can. I only hope I brought enough to see us through. Let's use persuasion and see if we can get some free stuff from her. Cheeky. Supply pack. Yeah. For free. If you're all Always right, nice. You Let's see your wares. Right so selling to her is not best idea because we can sell everything for like more gold to Damon. We will do it in a second. So here we are just to buy stuff. What we want to buy? What we want to do to buy? So here it's very nice stuff for wizard. Take care now. Will, what is your weapon? Will, where is your weapon? This will be like best question. But Spell Sparker is still insane if you're using a lot of uh, magic missile like me. So I'm not changing this if stuff right, for now. Right Potion of Animal Speaking. It's always nice to have a little bit of those. So healing potions, oil is, is not working on this mode, I guess. Arrow of elemental slaying, ink slaying, I don't think we need those. Fiend slaying is nice, but I mean, we don't have archer in a party, so it doesn't care. What camp is this? It's uh, last light in in shadow cursed lands. Defender Great Axe. Very nice axe. So when you're making first attack, you can reduce this weapon enchantment by one. It will be a plus one, but you will get plus two to armor class. So pretty interesting weapon. But I'm here to buy one of these items. So Mighty Claws will give me bull strength and increase my strength by score of two. But we don't need it as Scarlock because we get potions. Scale mail that will add dexterity to our armor class. Very nice for archers and other guys who wear medium armor and all our party got low dexterity, so I don't have any medium armor users. And that's the cloak I'm <laughs> I'm here for basically. So this cloak is very good. Additionally, this shield is okay, but we can sell it. You can sell all useless stuff, basically. Oh, this lantern got nice damage, actually, for some reason. Rotten banana, very nice. So, this shield will give you 8 of level 3. More than enough. Very nice shield for Cleric, for Act 2. Now, what we get more here? Anything else? So this is if you like to use two weapons at the time. This gloves actually very nice if you're not releasing your pixie. When I first play uh, played this game, I was too scared to release pixie, and <laughs> I took lantern all the way to this land, and I used these gloves to get lantern in one hand and my sword in other hand. So basically nothing else is cool here. Maybe this die only. We don't need anything from Quartermaster Tali. Take care now. Now let's get to the Daemon. And here where we see Daemon second time in this game. Is it worth to get dual window on the sorcerer? I would say no. I mean, you can get dual wielder and you can get uh, double like stuff that will give you more spell DC, but you can still build more than enough spell DC with other gear. And I guess it's better to get a sh good shield for armor class. By the way, why are you not wearing shield, Will? What's going on with you? Are you like retarded or what?
they patched dual stuffs by making description say main hand only now oh okay so you even don't don't be not able to do it again so Damon, what's up bro Carla. nice to hear you nice to see you again you. well two things give us good news I only need one more piece exactly I yeah sure so we're giving him iron only one way to find out let's hawk carlock i want to romance her in this playthrough to get achievement thank you i can't believe it thank you Dan. it's the least before you go that engine of yours it's contained for the moment. I know you, I wasn't you. I, I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all right. Oh, thanks, Dama. It's been my so. What Carlux sh thinks now? This is the best day. The best. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to... I want to... And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Thanks, soldier. So, now Karlak is fine. Let's talk with Damon one more time. Karlak is best guess. GF. Yeah. yeah. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. Let's see what you have. Now we can sell it for a lot more gold. But uh, he don't even have this gold. Arrow of Dragon Slain. It's very nice to buy and send to camp. Just to throw at dragons, maybe. I mean, I don't have archers. Do I need arrows, actually? Even when they do nice damage. I will I will keep it maybe we'll see later so here we want to have this dark fire short bow and it costs a fortune because it's a very good bow it gives us resistance to fire and cold damage and haste level 3 spell so we don't need to use this bow but we can keep it on us and it will give us this resistances forever very good bow so I guess I'm buying this bow now Sword of life stealing, very nice if you're using like 100 sword. Any other like noticeable stuff? Scale mail, maybe. Not too great actually. So any good gear. Chain mail plus two gives 18 armor class. And you take Two less slashing damage. We won't be able to get better equipment soon. So I can buy one. I can buy one. For someone like Will, for example. We sell this now. And now we got a lot of gold. So we can sell everything we don't need. I guess I will keep this hammer in case we need some bludgeoning damage. I, g I got this achievement. So basically, I don't have only two achievements right now. Carlock, Romance, and uh, beating Honor Mod. That's why I'm basically <laughs> doing this run right now. So this very good, very good Halbert when you're going for build like uh, Titan Sling Bow build. This Halbert gives you strength plus two. And you can get basically 22 strength exactly in this act with this Halbert with uh, Hux hair and potion. So I guess I'm fine. We got 118 armor. It will be Gale's armor later. Me 
Scarlock, sell wares. One with the weave. Yeah, I'm done, I'm done. We don't need anything here. I'll be here if you... But I will save these arrows. Maybe I will need them later. So it will be in camp and construct to, to camp two. Elemental slang. Okay. So Darkfire short bow. Who will get this bow? Bow of awareness. It's nice bow. But who need to act first? I guess it's cleric. Cleric is more beneficial for initiative. So this guy will have this protection. I guess it's nice distribution of weapons and armors. Let's go in. Because we got potion of animal speaking, we can speak with strange ox. No incapable. Not for you to know. This won't go well. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I said, I said incapable. Oh, come on. Never wanted easy Man. Scurry on now. What are your thoughts on Druid? Um, it's pretty like niche. Everyone likes Druids, but in it's fun to play. But I guess uh, in this game, exactly, druids are a little bit underpowered by other classes. I admire your ability to gracious all I wanted. So this is big, strange ox, who is for some reason like injured, and Karla don't care about him like at all. One more attack. So one shot, one kill. And here we are. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain arcane acuity. So if you're using a lot of fire damage with your wizard, very nice head. And shapeshifter boon ring. While you shapeshifting, gain 1d4 bonus to all checks. Pretty nice too if you're using some kind of rogue who is shapeshifting and trying to like steal stuff. So you can steal a lot of stuff with mask of shapeshifter that's why i'm basically keeping this ring i'm sending it to brina bright song Never a dull and i need last item in this place only last item man i do have a problem with my monk what problem it's destroying everyone with one hit Oh, it's not even a steal action, so I can just pick this potion for free. That's very cool. Mal, Metis, Metis. So Metis is a trader, and he will get that's true. Very nice item. Ah, nice try, shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the great. It ain't. No, not quite. <laughs> so, what's your problem? We've gone legitimate, and Mole put. Hmm, what does it look? Mole gave it to me, and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old Jackaday. This is a <clears throat> valuable piece, so it's going to cost a lot. And no. That is non. non 1k gold for key? No, no, no. As Mole would say, what are you looking for? What about it? So let's use persuasion. I want this key. I guess it's useless. Hear me out. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I mean, explain. Maybe. So, persuasion will be plus three plus three. Let's use persuasion. 
it's easy. So monks to make Tavern Brawler work, they need high strength to write. Yes. And in the game there are gloves that set your strength up to 23. Yeah. Eventually you can get gloves that set up your dex to 18 and respect. But let's go. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought And now we get Don't tower shaped key. We'll need it later. Welcome back. Are you <coughs> What if I want to use gloves of soul catching? In particular? Uh, so, gloves of soul catching is nice on normal monks when you're not going for tavern brawler monk. If you're optimizing for tavern brawler monk, it's definitely will be gloves of heal giant strength to get strength to 23. And you maximize dexterity with... Uh, I will s show you in a second. Let me see what you have. So we need to buy one item from Mall. Evasive shoes. This is the item. Oh, they just put so big prices on good items. So every good item got like prices like 2, 3, 5k. Insane. Potion of invisibility. How much I got? I got seven. Let's get eight. Pleasure. So there's like two ways to go Bring with this game dance. right now. I can go instantly into Moonrise Towers. Yes. Or we can try to make stuff going on here. And I don't want to take steroids every day to be strong. Yeah, if you don't want to do it, you're not playing these gloves, basically. You're not playing these gloves. If you play in Tower and Brawler Monk. So you need this graceful close, basically, to increase your dex by two. You max out your dex and wisdom. So final stats will look something like dexterity 18, wisdom 20. I would say something like 20 will be nice. Or 18 too. Will be okay -ish. Better go up to like higher wisdom is better because wisdom will increase power of manifestation of soul. Or just drink a lot of potions, but I like I hate to drinking a lot of potions myself. Seems someone's been skipping all Please. supplies. Oh. To your very good health. To your very good health. Well over answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? You want to deny it's if we're to survive. So good. you can I trust me them to this ancient village. Only to be faced with a man we keep build. He was a sh but Basically, this little conversation king. about Ketrick Torn, and we as sorcerer can ask that he got a very powerful magic. He is sword. invincible. Together we assault his tower and put up So we will assault his tower and do some man. stuff there. Isabel, she got she's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you. So we already got a lantern, so we can skip Isabel's oh, stuff. Let's talk with Roland one time. Jahira didn't save your ragged little. If you're here to save the day again, I, Carl, and Leo are taken dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with. So we will rescue his friends. And basically, there's not so much of interesting stuff over here, but there's some interesting stuff beneath this, like, building. Let's go there first. Can you show everything you're wearing on her? Yeah, I got a Google Doc, by the way, with final builds I'm going for. And with locations of every, like, basically of everything. But for Act 2, I gathered a lot of heal giant strength potions. So I dumped strength, I got high dex, high whiz, high con. A little bit of charisma and my carlock wear graceful claws that gloves of cinder and sizzle for additional fire damage spring step boots for now so when we're dashing we're taking or taking similar action we're gaining momentum it gives us additional move speed and when i get three levels in rogue i will dash almost every turn if i need so that's very nice stuff and basically two rings that gives me move speed right now and uh, we can see in the dark, so just basic rings. Hey, good looking. 
I would say damage is not that huge on multiple targets, but when you comparing solo target damage, uh, yeah, Tavern Roller is just best. So beneath this building is very interesting stuff. It's last light in chamber, cellar, where is basically a prison. And there's additional loot over here. To go over here, basically pressing the button and Karlak starting to run away. We can enter this room from other side or we can just steal something and go to like to prison. And there's some nice loot in this chest. But I will do it later, a little bit later. For now, I'm going to ask this lady about your husband please i just want to be alone go on i managed to get away but my love every i just wish i could have said goodbye can you it so we will try to bring ben dennis home but it will be easy task i guess And for some reason I sold my blood joining damage hammer. Don't That's okay. I guess I can't sell guiding light ring, so I will just put it in my stuff with quest items. And basically let's go on the second floor. Let's just finish here and then go to Monroe Towers. Maybe I will regret it. I need a quick word. Look, you can we trade with Mo? Okay. You're welcome and all, but uh, I. Last light, best bargains. Right I mean, Mo, Mo can have this ring that we need. I feel like a rose in a tea shop. Let me drink potion of invisibility, actually. Oh, it's Raphael. Okay. What to do? He it's got one K H P almost. I'd ask if you've made any progress with your little problem, but the telltale twitching of your eye is answer enough. <laughs> Tavern pro roller for Dex? Yeah, it would be fun. You, I can. They're not the only ones ripe for temptation. I, I, I never knew Raphael here, actually. I, I somehow miss him every time. time. For quibbling over clauses and contracts hasn't quite a. For now, I'm afraid you've already made me late for a meeting with an. Okay, he's uh, gone. That's what we need. That's what we need. Now, turn based. Exit turn based. Let's enter in stealth mode. Okay, I want to steal ring from Mall. If I possibly can. No, Mall don't have this ring right now. Okay, I don't need anything for this then. For some reason, on this walkthrough, I don't have this ring on Mo, and Mo haven't offered me still idle quest. Okay, let's go. I bet a long quest before this fight. So right now, after a little small talk, we will be in a fight. Oh, Mizora. Hello. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. What do you want? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. Absolute's cult has got there locked up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting a Now, this may be your best chance to negotiate Will out your What are you doing? So we will ask Mizora to end Will's pact. About... Interesting. Now why should I go letting my favorite Let's use intimidation. 
Nice, critical success. In fine. Clause F, section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially. I'd like some. Tarlac, how are you? Good stuff. We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a run? It's a. Hey, soldier. Like I got something back. When I touched you, I felt my heart was. I don't have to hold. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. Me too, soldier. Gods, me too. Tuck! The world's my fu- Ugh. Misery always overstays its work. Do I have water right now? No. I somehow always, like... Losing a lot of water. Okay, let me use Will to go to Karlak and basically create water on her. Let me try and see what will happen. Karlak, cool? Yeah. Yeah, he can cast Concentration Spell and turn into bear and attack in one turn. But uh, most Concentration Spells, you can't keep them, basically. So it will be Concentration Spells with some Disabling Strikes. It's nice, but not super good. Is this level 2 spell slot? So let's make them wet. Copper for your thoughts. Okay, <laughs> it's not working. We'll come back. One move ahead. All right. What now? What do you want? Oh, gods, I can already feel one of those mind. I always knew what my future held. So can I relax? No, no, no. You pick the wrong fight. I need to speak with Asterion first. You know, I feel a connection. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see... Perhaps whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. It, you can't tell me that doesn't sound fun. Of course, this all assumes we live long... Okay. So a little small talk with Asterion and let's continue. From patch 5 they do stay so. I need to test. The the Before they wasn't. Here. I'm getting strong. I don't know how much long, but you did a brave thing. Saving those. The hurt runs deeper than she's willing to. Sh Each wave a set of orders to. In any case. So we just skip this little dialogue and let's go back to business to large and big fight that's coming it could be very easy very hard depending on rng basically and by the way i'm enjoying so much playing party without buffs on my first playthrough, I played Wizard, like Warlock with a lot of uh, buffs. I need to equip weapon every time before fight. Okay, he got this orb blast right now. I don't want to use it occasionally. So, only buff I need to make is to actually use this 8 level 3 spell as will on someone like Karlak or itself. Oh, it's only self, okay. Maybe I can use like level 2 8 for wall party. And just use potion as Karlak. That's it. More than enough. I like it, I like it. 
it's a lot funnier than just spend 10 minutes every every like start of the day to buff wall party If you can cast whole person and then turn into bear and then attack, possibly this druid uh, is really overpowered. Maybe even I need to revisit them. Still alive. So that's in the like first and second patch, uh, definitely guys like uh, Tavern Brawler Monk, Titan Swing Bow, like a fighter, just crit paladin. Warlock with uh, 12 attacks in one turn is a lot better than just any druid. Still, druids are fun. I think m most fun is uh, sport druid, actually. But if you like a lot of animals, <laughs> normal druid is fine. The true so this is Isabel, uh, and she will give us protection from this but shadow are, curse the if we don't have this even the deepest lantern shadows, buff. I don't know how. But we can do it safely by our means. So we can go. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure. But there's a problem, as always. Why does Doom Visitor get rid of the armor for this one cutscene? Oh, because you can do some like cheeky stuff with Doom Visitor in this cutscene. If you try. Hello, Isabel. So it's like Almost Marcus, a romance cutscene. I've been blessed. So he's Come been to... blessed. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. Isabel, do you know this it's man? Flaming Fist. Flaming Fist. And I thank True Soul. My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Catherick alive. Touch her, and I kill you. Pathetic. The absolute. You can't believe the Marcus. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. Yeah, ignoring the first two stats is fine. So there's one problem, one tiny problem in this fight. If this guy just crits Isabella with two attacks, she can die and it will be awful situation. I don't know what will happen because when this happened for me first time and for some reason enemies are surprised. I like it. I load it because uh, everyone turns uh, hostile and you just fight versus all camp. I don't know what will happen next. I will ex explore this situation on like maybe evil playthrough. But for now we got Light Domain Cleric and I will use Improved Warding Flare. And as you can see this guy just critical striking Isabel. Now he's doing only 10 damage. 12 damage, okay. She's fine, she's fine for now. But there's another problem, Wing Horrors. So there's, they are really like powerful guys too. And to save Isabel, all I need to do is to destroy wind cars that can attack her before other guys. So there they are. Better start focusing them, I guess. So minus one. Now we can talk with this parrot guy. Nice, he's prone. Yeah, dex for initiative is always nice, but if you're traveling in bear form, you don't need a lot of initiative, but if you're traveling in bear form, there's another problem. <laughs> you're basically not uh, using your concentration spells, so yeah. Some dexterity is always nice. I will use Spirit Guardians right now. Because I can save, safely disengage and I will just block Isabel with my body. So now they will be they will have hard time attacking Isabel basically. And I hope it works. Maybe I need to use 
I just need to use uh, mass healing. So everyone got bless and blade ward. So now Isabel is fine and protected, I guess. So there's a lot of wind horrors coming in. And where they are? Okay. Let's use warning clear. Why would you do it? Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. Oh no, enemies are not surprised. So what Will can do? This guy is still on the floor. I guess Paladin will take him out. But as a Will, I can destroy a few winged horrors. I'm attacking horror or door? Like I want to use my normal magic missile. I've cast it to level 3, yeah, that's it. And maybe do it one more time with quicken spell. It's better to destroy these guys than to just lose this fight. Let's put our body to Isabel. <laughs> Why ask the question what should we do when the answer is almost always magic missile? Oh, right now he can do call lighting. Call lighting is slightly like more powerful option if I need damage, especially against multiple targets. So it's not always magic missile now. Let's make critical hit. Nice. And... Can I block the door with me? I guess yes. I'm just blocking Isabel so they can't attack her. Yeah, that's what you do with monks. <laughs> that's what you do with monks. Right now, let's get rid of the swing horrors over here. One more attack, I guess, for him. And let's get over here and jump later. <laughs> if any horrors survive. I guess they will just... Wreck, wreck him in a turn. Okay, we won. We won. That's nice. Now it's time to go to Moon Race. This stream and video will be named Grim Forge, but <laughs> we will clear Moonrise in it, I guess. I guess we can clear Moonrise on this stream. Or just we'll do all like basic stuff in Moonrise. That's just needed. No time to waste. Where's horror? Ah oh, I just like skip a turn, they will kill him. And I'm halfway to level 8, by the way. Level 8 is very nice, like, 
power spike. Oh, there is it here. He just flies to the top floor. Honestly, I guess I'll just be using gloves of heal giant strength with maxed out decks. Because I don't need a soul catching gloves. We sure want unhibited Kushiga boots. So. Yeah, unhibited Kushiga boots is must have. And that's one of the reasons why you max out on wisdom instead of dexterity. It's better to have wisdom. And wisdom will give more damage to manifestation of souls. Or mind, or the spaces, basically. Considering you're playing open hands, of course. If you're playing Tavern Brawler but not open hands, then yeah. You can go Dex. Yeah, we, we, beat, we beat Grimm already. Isabel, I'm... But they don't That's why I'm telling, like, uh, this video will be named as, like, Grim Porsche, but I will if add some, happens, like, timestamps and other stuff. In this inn is dead. I won't let this happen. You're the key to all of this. No so, they won't have anything Let's cool on go. them, but... There's always but. Marcos can be looted. And he got great club. Ring to cast invisibility. Pretty interesting ring too. And mind flare parasite. By the way, I got this awesome ring. Should we like change them? So Carla get invisibility. I guess it's like far better ring. And this got invisibility and blur. Blur is nice spell too. Do I want blur? Disinvention on the crawls against you. Let's do it, let's do it. So we will get a little bit more spells. Yeah, permanent uh, buffs always stay. My Isabel is forever in bruises after this battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. I think something really cool happens if you kill Isabel. Yeah, we'll do it in the next run. I will go for like a Dark Ursh Assassin. And we will make like ultra... Like super evil build. Super evil run at the same time. So my goal will be something like... Go into Last Light Inn and just start slaying everyone instantly. We will do it on honor mode, of course, but the, I guess I will die on this mode and we will be like on honor difficulty, but with save files. So now it's time to go to Moonrise Towers. We can do some stuff over here, but I like to go to Moonrise first. There's little quests in this area. We can loot some stuff over here. But there's always chance to be ambushed. Like somewhere nearby. For example, here. I completed perception check on the way to Last Light Inn. And right now I don't see anything. Okay, he failed to be seen. Will, it's basically your turn. They got 88 hit points. Let's destroy these little demons. Do the bell that fairy give you if you free her works? Yeah, it works because if you leave this zone, you will uh, be left without pixie blessing. So when you enter, enter back 
in Shadow Realms, you need to cast, you need to use this ball basically to get this blessing back. So ball is working. Okay, Carla can destroy these guys in one turn. I guess I need critical strike. Let will cook on the pool <laughs> on the top floor. I don't fancy their chances. Striking distance. Radiance of Dawn. Not coming for everyone. Can I get rid of this guy without using a lot of spell slots? Let's go. And one of the question what necklace would you suggest getting for a monk? Asking because I used the misty step. For Goblin Priestess room and after not using it single time because my MS is so. Uh, so, necklace for Mon. I got it in my build sheet in Google Docs. So, let me try to attack this bro first and use Divine Smite level 2. We will just smite him. Okay, one miss is okay. So what to use on Monk as Amulet? Let me check one second. Let's use Warden Claire. Monk Amulet will be Amulet of Greater Health. Basically, it will be Constitution Amulet that you can steal at the same place where you get in your gloves so just get your constitution up to 23 and you will have uh, like unkillable machine with 200 health that basically destroying everyone at will so I'd say it best option to make your monk is like biggest character among them all for some reason, I attacked ways. Okay, Gale. I guess now it's time. Now it's time. Inflict wounds will work on these guys. They should have resistance. No. I got a lot of level 1 spell slots. So I can definitely use it. 45% is not too much. Let's just use normal attack. It's Act 3 item. So just before it... I mean, I'm using this <laughs> sentient amulet that's doing nothing, but it got key restoration action that will basically give you two key points, one spell, or long rest. And that's it. We just found it in Adamantine Forge. In Game Forge. Oh, so they're starting to teleport, my friends. That's why this fight is a little bit weird and can go into weird di direction. But there's only one guy left. But I guess I can reach him with my claim. Yeah, definitely. We need to jump. At the ready. Oh no, we're going far away. That's why I'm telling you this fight can go wrong. Like terribly wrong. But Carl, like look look at the momentum. This movement speed. It's just insane. Let's just short rest once. This is legit broken, <laughs> yeah, 100%. These guys got same names, yeah, they all named Mazel, so we don't care too much. And oh, 
Because they all got to this, like... Item. Same item. Yeah, rope and gold. So, potter chest. I guess we can find... Uh, key for this chest somewhere. But I got one. Alright, luminous gloves. And note. And idol of saloon. Very important idol. What is in note? Moon Maiden protects us. Investigate saloon resistance. Okay, that's like start item for the quest. Let's put it in quest items. Whenever Weirer deals radiant damage, target receives radiant orb condition. So it's pretty nice for our healer. But Hell Rider Sprite is just better. Because it gives uh, blood joining resistance to everyone who is healed by Cleric. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, who's left? Who's left? Gale? So, oh, I forgot wheel on, on the roof. Okay. Wheel? Here you go, my friend. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. I got this, uh, like, broken tavern brawler optimized build on my channel, so it's like... Nice. And in the Google Sheet, of course, so it's easy to find and see. And I guess there's, like, a lot of guides for it. So here we got Harper, Dagger, Wooden Trunk, Skeleton, Me? Black Oleander, and Hidden, Hidden, Traveler Chest. So it's hard to find this chest. Let's open it. And here is Ring of Twilight in this chest. What's this ring doing? It's giving you one to armor class while you obscured. Sounds nice, but being obscured is uh, very hard. And when you obscured, it's already hard to hit you. So I don't like this ring. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Moving ahead. Yeah, I like this stubborn brawler one because a lot of stats. It's just super powerful and fun to play it's like most important stuff so here i should face like a little fight i guess and we got roland on the bottom of this fight we need to help him that's where you continue your like save all tieflings achievement we need to be careful Passives can be slotted in the bar. Yeah, it's a, it's like very useful stuff. I mean, like uh, <laughs> with Monk, for example, you can turn uh, different passives. And I actually got this passive at the custom bar too. So I'm turning it off and on with key number one. It's a lot more easier to use. Just like I, you see, I'm not pressing it, but it's like turning off and on. Very useful, like, stuff for easy gaming. And here we go again. Karlak, go destroy this shadow, please. We need to save Roland. And for some reason, he is, like, almost dead. Yeah, 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 you can do it. Alright, we help him. Do nothing right. Not a damn 
Instead, I found myself caught. I fell. And now he can run away. Ah! Wonder if the gods are watching me. There's some chests. We got a key for it. Yeah, minimal damage is around 20. Around 20, like. Even more. Even more. So, what is this shield? Plus two shield with plus one to stealth. It's just better shield than he got right now, so we can give him. And here we are coming to Toll House. We will fight with Toll Collector later. I guess I will make like tomorrow's stream fighting these bosses. What level my chars? Halfway to level 8. Right now level 7. Moonrise Towers lies ahead. We're close. I can feel it. The absolute. His power is strong here. So we, here we are, Moonrise Towers. That's yeah, monks are enough. just incredible. His thoughts invade your own. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? General. You'll find. Zarel. Fancy name. Praise the absolute. So, praise the absolute, and let's go inside. These guys are actually strong guards of level 8. And can do a lot of there stuff. No but we got nice this experience when we come in this just in the place. The the so here we are. Moonrise Towers. <laughs> Let's make a quick walk through over through here what we need to do. What we need to do. First of all, we can speak with a lot of traders. Or here they got a lot of cool well, stuff. Didn't think to quiz her about her business. The fact that she knows what Enough. soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Sure. F Memor <laughs> you want the coins or not? First coins got the soul of a woman named. She was born to a cruel mother. She never knew a day of love in. She got what she asked for. The scud of her soul. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> this and he should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. So, <laughs> last one. That's all. That's all. Well, you got. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. All right. Hope you can hand. So we got soul coin. Yeah. One soul coin, that's it? Or more soul coins? No, three soul coins, insane. All goes to Karlak. And Silpro's note. If you have coin, then show it. Monk, Monk is definitely S tier. And when you're not playing Connor mod, Monk get this resistance ignorance. Like uh, his uh, hands becoming like magic attacks and <laughs> you just uh, don't care what you're attacking. You're destroying everyone. So what he got to offer? What can you do with soul coins? Or oh, you can do very cool stuff. I will show you in a second. So let's sell this great club. Maybe I will need this later. So about this guy, he got... Very nice helmet for someone like Will. So right now, Lifebringer is not... 
like strong item we can sell it and we can buy this helmet instead very nice helmet he got awesome armor in sale but we need to unlock it first this halberd is really strong too so it's doing 24 force damage and you're gaining one bonus to initiative rolls and advantage on perception checks so pretty nice too when you're making attack rolls as reaction you make it with advantage so very cool too if you're doing something like sentinel walkthrough very strong hammer like uh, halberd this guy got titan string bow if you haven't bought it earlier no 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 not him like or he should have it most of the time he got titan string bow big bow chew toy so it's like really strong mace too because you can grow in size for 10 turns and increase your damage of your weapon so you just grow in size change yourself and then basically use other stuff this is nice to have more spell dc so i can use spells now not magic missile every time let's just get it let's just get it for now get moving will you yeah i will test it like tomorrow morning Brothers, sister, pray with me while we do. Carlock, what do you need I i'm not worthy so hey we've got this soul coin right thing is so as you can I see Carlock can, can use soul coin my engine zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target sort of Next time we find ourselves toe to toe with something we want to squash. Fuck yes. Fuck now yes, I yeah. So, as Scarlock, you can basically use Soul Coin as bonus action, and it will give you until long rest condition. Uh, your weapon and unarmed attacks deal an additional 1d4 damage when you're raging or when your hit points dropping below 25%. So, as Monk is not very useful, most of the time you're standing above. 25% hit points, but sometimes not. So you do an additional 1d4 damage with each hit, and that's a lot of damage when you can unleash flurry of blows. So it will be 2d4 damage for each like attack. Very very strong stuff. So next trader we want to talk with is uh, Roa Monglo. Individual doesn't seem particularly. Your offer appears to be of interest. Let's make it a good one. Raw Moon Glow, what she possess. Again, good grid access. Very nice glaive with uh, like elemental weapon, so you can uh, imbue your weapon with elemental power. It will do additional damage of different type and plus one to attack rolls. So basically, I guess it's like single weapon in this part of the game that can have plus three enchantment. So it's basically like plus three enchantment because it's not concentration spell. So you can use this and then you can enchant it with magic weapon with your paladin, for example. It's like crazy weapon. So from Roam and Glow, I want to buy near Misser actually. For now, I want to buy near Misser. It should be... What is this action? Oh, it's interesting. So we can make any character vulnerable to poison damage unless it's immune to poison damage. I haven't saw this ring actually. It's a very nice ring, I guess, for my poison build on like bad walkthrough. So what is what is near Miser? It's uh, this like bow. Oh my goodness, it costs so much gold. And near Miser will go to our friend let's buy it i just need it so now we got additional magic missile level three for free basically we don't need any spell slots yeah 12 levels 12 levels in monk uh, basically kind of fine if you're going for full monk with dexterity build it's a little bit like weaker We got a lot of potions. Me 
And there's a good amulet for my uh, cleric. For my cleric. But this amulet actually Hello. in the bottom in the prison. We will go there later. Still alive. So first of all, I want to go to this location. There's okay. like a lady in this room. Better not be cursed. Very nice lady. Over here. This is Arash Oblodra. I hope I can pronounce this. So we need to s ask someone to, like, stay in the camp a little. Well met. Go to camp and wait sure? me. The I'm sure. And, just when... and now we're going to camp again. I want to take Asterion in my party right now and talk with her with Asterion in party. So here is Asterion. Need something? Lead up. What's going on? What's going on here? What's happening? So I want uh, like purple dye on will. Will? Where are you? So now will will be very beautiful in purple clothes. Okay, we can do it right now. I will do it later. And Gale will be like... Gale will be my... Maybe light blue. Or he can be dark general. So, let's go back to this Arash Abdullah. Don't monks at level 12 get like bomb punches. Nothing good can come of it unless it is contained. No, they get in it a lot earlier. It's around level nine, I guess, or eight. Why should you hurt naked? Oh, there is a reason. We broke her at the beginning of the stream. So I begin the stream with uh, trying to make Shadow Heart use this machine in Gitanke Crochet. And she failed every skill check. So now Shadow Heart got. Minus two to wisdom, intelligence, and constitution. She's broken, she stays in camp, and your all her gear goes to Gale, and he is my new like cleric. My services, if you're willing. She just betrayed me, she lost all skill checks possible, destroyed machine. Now I can't use mind player powers with a bonus action. It will be a lot harder to run right now. So let's listen to her. With one drop. I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, no, we can learn exactly what that means together. Hmm? Sounds interesting. Let's do it. First of all, I oh, like yeah. to use this Although potion as orc. No. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I prefer. Uh, orc potion is really strong. Oh, Let's I'm tell sure that Asterion really is that. his own person. <laughs> Karlak will approve Good. it, and we can romance her. I'll even compensate. It's not. F I will. <laughs> Excuse so Asterion don't want to bite here. Can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? But we will be kind of nice to Asterion. We are surprised, Asterion. Are you because there's something wrong with her blood? And this is not your choice, bro. A potion here. that powerful could change our face. It's Do it. I Do it. I don't have all day. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very. What will happen still. if you go to Gauntlet of Shar? <laughs> we will see, but uh, I'm not going with uh, Shadow Heart in my party. Incredible. You should sacrifice her to bow at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I will do something with her. Not your... 
I feel like it was and now we get elixir of half orcish fury i will leave it for act three it's really powerful stuff and we can gather as much elixirs as we want uh, because we can basically reset whole game with uh, short rest i get with long rest and uh, get these potions a lot i will do it off stream i will get uh, some potions when you drink uh, drink uh, half orcish potion you get in this orcish power when you're down before your next long rest you instead drop to one hit point so basically we can be like triple life with this orc with uh, something like warding bo with warding bond or how it's called basically with protection from cleric that will revive us with uh, elixir of half orcish fury and with orcish power so this go to camp and most importantly we got this awesome potion it's looking basically like basic potion but it's increasing our strength permanently by two so instantly when i drink it my strength became 19 so i need to respect to 20 strength i will do it again before boss fights right now i'm fine So what are the potions, by the way? I forgot. I forgot what is all the potions. You can do it with every character and uh, get different results. Should you be interested, I have a particular offer I'd like to make. With one drop, I can... There we are. So, tiefling wise, what is this? You can call Diabolic Arcana to cast Tamaturgy, Hellish Rebook, Burning Hands and Flame Blade each only once until your long rest. So basically we can do like Tiefling magic for free. That's fine. Very fun potion too. So let's send it to camp. And human potion will make us. Should you be interested? I have a pit with one drop. I can br just there we are. So human got proficiency in all skills until next long rest. Okay, it's interesting too. <laughs> Keep a blade close. So just kind of jack of all trades for free. Welcome back, true soul. With one drop, like there we are. And elf potion is protection from being charmed and dark vision. Additional ten meter movement speed. Additional ten meter movement speed. Carlock, you can just drink it instantly. Will it uh, this potion block? Oh my goodness, uh, Asterion just drank it. Okay, whatever. So, let me change my party. Let's go to camp. But I like Elven Potion. Elven Potion is nice. I mean, 10 meter movement speed. That's, that's crazy. So, Asterion can now stay in the camp. Need something? Oh, darling, I'm... It sounds all. And let's get Will back to party. Well met. That. This is not funny. Come on. <laughs> yeah, she will make potions for me. I mean, she's so useless with her skill checks today. She just destroyed my playthrough, basically. With the skill checks. Purple will is insane, in my opinion. Just best looking will. Alright. So, orc will be... I forgot to change color for this stuff. 
It's almost red. That's okay. -ish. So, and Gale got this Drake die. Let's see it. Here will be Golden Gale. Okay. Okay, next part of the puzzle. We can buy something from here, but there's not a lot Welcome of useful back, stuff. Show me a stock. Oh, she got a lot of money. I know who I will be stealing from. You gain plus one bonus to spell save DC. So, that's nice for wizards. It's cool looking rope, but wizards in heavy armor just a lot better, you know. Circle of Haunting. You gain 1d4 bonus to attack rolls against creatures marked by Hunter's Mark. Bunny circlet for your hunters. Okay. So basically not a lot of useful stuff. Not a lot of useful stuff. You gain advantage on attack rolls and Disadvantage and saving throws. Risky ring. Interesting ring. If you need advantage every turn. And that's nice uh, ring, by the way. So you can't be paralyzed. Let's just buy it instantly. Let's just instantly buy it. Because I don't need to buy anything right now in this part of the game. It's last part, uh, last thing I will buy. Let's send it to camp. Maybe I will use it on one of my characters. Come back anytime. Yeah, should, uh, she should give me this uh, elf elixir. I mean, I will do it uh, off stream. It's not uh, <laughs> really funny to look on, like, changing all characters in camp. And there's one more room, I guess. Here it is. That's the room. No, we was in this room already. So we need to go over here to Keterik Torm himself. Actually, my favorite scene in the game. I don't know, it's we just so brutal. Was told, General. Followed every order. Us. No, no, it was enough. A bluff. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures... You know I'm lost! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the goblins served our cause. Thank you! I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But Z, we are too close to the ending. Kill them, quickly. What? Oh no, I skipped this part. Okay, let's watch it. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. That's actually a so fun part <laughs> when she throws this uh, axe at him. Try again. Try again. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dispose of the rep, or better yet. Of course not, my lord. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Do. Here in the sea. Please! You gotta help me! For old times' sake! <laughs> I like how Paladin judged this situation. YouTube might remove the video if you show the scene. I will delete it later. Paladin, it shall be trial combat. If you wish to leave, you must be champion yourself. Yeah, Getrek is insane. This is the best scene of the game. Yeah. Power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. So now I got Nothing one more <laughs> free magic power. missile level three. And this is basically doing from 10 to 25 damage. And even a little bit more from the bow. Oh, 
in here. So what Karla can do? Karla approves, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised Goblin struggled to crease in a row. Yeah. <laughs> what an epic fight. What an epic fight. Fighting at level 8 versus goblins. Like in good old times. I don't even need this loot. I will need this. Let's take smoke powder, green bottle. So here is one more room no 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 where is this there should be one more room i'm missing oh they're in like main building with like little interaction with some like interesting creatures let's call them let's call them interesting creatures At least forget for about them for now. Let's restore key points. General Thorn's prayers and preparations. Paladin, you are mean, maybe knock them out. The rooftop is no, I'm vengeance, Paladin. I'm the good guy. Goblins are bad. Every bad Everyone. guy will lie Keep on the floor. That... Excellent timing. The goblins. Tell me how they no. Better yet. Show me. Show me. Oh no. How I don't want to show you. Flickering across your memories. Tongues of I see you like to handle underlings physically. So do I. For a while, let's see if you can hold my interest. She parts the full every emotion soaks into. So she's trying to see what we are up to. to and when I first played she's this game, <laughs> I romanced Asterion somehow. It was like horrible mistake. As a male orc, of course, it was like horrible mistake. It was awful, actually. And. I would I got option like distract her by drawing her toward <laughs> your romance with Asterion. It was like super funny. Let's just uh, distract her. L let's use persuasion. Come on, it's funny. Nice critical success. You long to be touched. I have already been blessed to... She gave me everything I wanted. Show me the power she gave you. Why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the... But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you... Sh and the best way to do that is to... That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the general, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. Happens that I have a prize. You feel her presence in your. The absolute blessings have far greater value than any price you Apologize. can pay. Apologize. What there do I need to do? The general's the relic is. So we need to find a relic. Contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. Hardly a surprise. We're protected. The ship take one, but don't pry. Balthazar room key. So now we get room key. We can explore a little bit. So why are you here instead of out there looking for I have for few him? more questions. Oh, I love answering questions. Have I not been clear? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. It is something that she's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. Okay, we can use persuasion check. Again, 18. Really doable. I am in awe of the power. General Thorn will not leave Moonrise without it. Okay, if we complete this check, we completed this check. We got this option, and now we Fine. can have more support. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. 
Tell him he's to share my. And basically, right now we can have uh, Bugbear additional additional stuff from Bugbear, and I asked her to show her power, so she basically killed this big troll or whoever he she is, and that's really important for my walkthrough how I will do this part. Open up. That's really important. But for now, let's see what Bugbear got for us. Here goes nothing. He should have additional items, especially heavy armor. You seek arms. I seek a warrior worthy to bear them. Zeril said your share he provides stash with me. Liking to you, did she? So private stash. Here she breaks her it is Dwarven Splint Mail. Very nice, but costs like a fortune. 4k, 500. You take one less piercing damage, gain one bonus to strength, saving throws, and checks. Disadvantage on stealth checks and constitution plus two. So that's like crazy good armor for my cleric. And he will get basically plus two to constitution. Very nice saving throws. Incredible splint armor. Just insane armor, actually. Now I can't buy it, but I will <laughs> just steal a lot of stuff later. Off stream and buy it, maybe. So, where is the room? I guess this room over here. Yeah, yeah. There's one more like NPC, Lincella. A moment, true soul. You Create water and planting bones and dash. Yeah, that's funny. But I got like a different approach to Monrise Towers. I guess no. I will save it for tomorrow, maybe. Let's clear you? a little bit of, like, surroundings. I've sh that is the gift the Absolute gave me. Their will has... What would you like him to do? Let's oh, him dance. Her will surge outwards. No, Barnabas! We talked about this. They ban... Oh. Barnabas... Oh. He isn't the first to die. Her love is simply too much for if you... So she killed Barnabas, that's totally fine. And that's what we need, basically every NPC in this tower trying to kill himself. We don't need even to do anything to help them. And there will be a big fight in this room. But I like to ignore this fight and do it a different way. This fight can be a lot more funnier. Alright, let's go to prison. So prison. There's some loot in this room, I guess. Scroll of false life. Questioner. A new face. Scroll of speaking with the dead. Nothing cool, actually. So let's go to prison. And prison is interesting part, in my opinion. Because you can find... Tieflings. And we need to save them, of course. Let me get... Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? He made it? Told you. So Roland is alive, we help him. Gnomes next. Whatever it is. Gnomes got a plan and we need to like trust them. Nimble. Check for gap. Nickels. Ah! Don't mind us, truce. Your conversation has been Oh no! He hear our conversation. So we will use persuasion and we will be able to talk as much as we want. Easily. You ordered that guard about as if you were the absolute herself. 
And why would Barkas is out here? We don't need to persuade him. You, you Just no tell him we already saw Barkas. I you and I were meant to meet. I Pleasure to meet you, Wilburn. We the tieflings both. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do. Whatever you find, throw it through the... So they need basically any bludgeoning damage item. I got... I sold my bludgeoning damage item. His torch is enough. We just need to make sure there's no guards. And let me try to throw torch to him. Good work. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's torch quiet, is okay. And then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. So hold in your cell until I return. All... Let's talk with uh, this lady first. Let's talk with this lady first. And this warden got a ring that I need. So we will talk with her. Hmm. Hmm. Regardless, know this. I am the warden. And I answer to disciple Balthazar himself. Stay on my good side. A pity you're already failing then. I'm looking for Dick Ravengard. And I'm afraid the mere dregs are the only ones left in my care. Indeed, but all are kept out of reach and under constant surveillance in the office of my face might be bland, but yours. So we can like <laughs> tell heroes goblins trying to not goblins gnomes trying to escape. Of course we won't do it. We're a nice guy. We are on the side with the gnomes. And if I want to do it sneaky, I first of all need to get rid of this eye. So can I drop him through this place? Not exactly. Attention. And Karla got a high chance to do it. Yeah. So Karla basically got 100% uh, chance to throw him off the cliff. We just need to follow this eye and then I will just make some hitman moves. Let's go for this eye instead for now. Child beneath the mask. So they got like small talk over here for some reason. <laughs> and he got a torch in his hands. Okay. Right now, Garlock can Invisible me. make sneak push of this eye. And I hope it will go well. You murdered someone in view of a guard. Perhaps unsurprisingly, hey. you're under arrest. It's not going well. Let's try to talk our way out of it. Garlic don't have any like deception to other stuff. Alright. We got two options, guys. We can try to deceive a Scarlock without any bonuses, almost without any bonuses, only with favorable beginnings. Or we can just destroy these guards, basically. Should we fight? Best be on my way. What do you think? What do you think? Let me enter turn-based mode for a second. What do you think? Should we just fight with them? Time to fight? She's gonna flag it, yeah. She's definitely gonna flag it. Taumaturgy? I mean... 
Tamaturgy for intimidation, it will give us plus three only. So it's not really a best option. I guess I guess it's time. I guess it's time. So who is like my most important target? Direct me. Gail. With ease. Turn on spirit guardians. And now, I guess let's finally use Call Lighting with Will, so we can hit three targets at a time. And Will will start the fight. Nice. We can instantly activate Call Lighting one more time. And now, I can use Quick and Spell to make it third time. <laughs> Nothing suspicious about it yet. <laughs> That's Baldur's Gate, so... Basically, we got only two enemies over here. Oh, he got resurrection. Okay, no more. What she can do? Ensnaring strike on wheel, warding flare, ensnared. Oh no. Gale? While she's not damaged by Spirit Guardians, is it once per turn? Maybe. Now it's our pod in time. Whoa, enmity. Again, advantage, 58%. Is not bad. I can land a hit. Yeah. And now I can just use my free magic missile from right. my bow. <laughs> That's basically minigun bow. We can fly. I felt this mission only one tiefling got away. Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess it's possible. I guess it's easier to do this mission like that. So, spell class amulet goes instantly to Gale. So that's like great amulet. For my sorcerer. For my... Sorry, sorcerer. He got now only one misty step. Misty step. Amulet is nice, but now he can restore spell slot once per day. Or is it better to keep double Mr. Step for now? We'll grab the you, however, are the clincher. Once we move, it's we time. Let's move. do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I guess uh, we get in double Mr. Step for now, and this can be in the camp until we hit la later stages of the game. So uh, I guess we don't need the zealot no more. Arrested for assault. Of course, we're assaulting you, bro. You're not gonna like this, mate. All right. What now? Can't slow down. I guess Guards is not a problem right now. So these guys will be saved and Tiflings should be saved very soon. Let's loot Warden House. Better not be cursed. I am ready to rest my weary head. 
what's in the wooden chest? Some spells. Top floor. Turn-based mode. We need to destroy it before it cries for help. What's with this eye? Got resistance to everything. But not to Karlak, I guess. Okay, let's see what will happen. Calling reinforcements. Oh no. Bye forever, pal. The hammer's gonna fall. <laughs> What's up with this eye? Why I can't... So I need to use thunder damage somehow. Who got any type of this damage? We'll get. 2d8. So I need to roll a little bit. A little bit. I don't have Mr. Step or what? I guess sorry my friends, but... I just need to kill this eye. It's done. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay. Everything's fine. So what's the is the on the top floor? Some shoes. My pack. Some shoes. Just awful shoes. Wolbrand's hammer. One D four plus five. So nothing cool, just farther can I go? Just hammer. Nothing in this chest. And here we got Bro Beaten Circlet. Plus one bonus to spell DC while treatment. We can sell it. We definitely can sell this stuff. I need lockpick. I need lockpick on this wooden chest. Gold. Scroll of invisibility. I like it. Okay, here we got mind reading. Greater healing. Very nice. Oil bane. And superior healing. Not bad, not bad. Gold ring. And burnished. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go bottom. I guess I can just open all. Moonrise print reason commonal cell level. Let's just open normal. Levers. So it will be easier to get there. But if you somehow <laughs> save these tieflings and other guys, you can go from behind. They are all safe and we can escape from Moonrise Towers. For now. Let me help you. Death won't take me yet. All right. Good to go. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Safe. So let's take them to the last light in. You drift through the dark until time, skill, or luck brings you to Last Light's dock. Hold there. No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. The commander cleared. Anyone could be infected. 
The absolutes what? What are you doing? If what you said is true, no one has... If not... Well... So nothing strange here. Now, form a line. We just wait a little bit. That's it. This and way. everything will be fine. So what we can do now? I guess we can explore a little bit of these dark places. Let's sell That's everything we don't need. Let's get some gold. I sold a pair of boots to that chaser. Can't believe it. We get a lot of like loot that we don't need anymore. Anything on will? Not at all. Money! Yeah. We need a lot of money. I'm not sure if I want to spend like 4k on this awesome mail. What about basement? I will go later to basement. Oh no, don't like place. Okay, so tieflings are fine now, they are saved. That's insane. And we got a lot of good friends that will help us later. You're all Come here, darling. Me too. But we're here now. So but that's nice experience boost, so we're almost level 8 already. And I want to hit level 8 and then I will clear Moonrise. So let's go to the open field and just clear a little bit of quests over here. Or better, let's say, take these quests. How are the build? Looking very nicely. We got basically a five paladin to sorcerer. One fighter, six sorcerer, one fighter, six cleric, six monk, one rogue. So level nine is super OP on all of them. And uh, level eight, very soon, where we get additional actions from rogue, like more spell slots from sorcerer. So I'm waiting for level eight. And it's basically Kritadin. Light the main cleric. Tavern Brawler Monk. And Sorcerer. So, about Sorcerer. We need some spell slots or not? Where am I needed? Let's take a rest. Just to be sure we are safe. I don't want to die in Honor mod on some easy mobs. Swift as my feet can carry me. Okay, it's real dancing. That's very nice. Oh, I need them to be just right. I wouldn't want to fail maybe 
May I have this dance? <laughs> oh no, we're not dancing, Will. Yeah, it's a great build. I got full builds uh, in video guide. It's uh, very like stable, so you're no you're pretty protected from a lot of treats. Time to romance. I want to romance Carl, like n not Will. <laughs> Bashful tonight. Sorry, my we? friend. Perhaps you will take to a more relaxed style. Oh, I mean, <laughs> good night then. And Karlak somehow ignoring me. Damn. I was in that potion. Very well. Scratch what you got for me, buddy. Dog wags his tail. A small bag he gives in. Salami. Oh, nice. Tea. Scratch his tongue, lolls. I like salami. His tail wagging. For real, yeah. Hey, soldier. If she'd been completely different from who she was, we might have been real friends. Thank the gods. Oh, nice. Do do? She's finally approved. She's finally approving me. What's on your mind? I hope we can get better with her in like Act 3. It's like kinda hard to approve with her. But it's fine. Is multiclassing always a better option? Not always. Some, like most of the classes is pretty good when you just go straight in one class. But for example, why like multiclassing uh, guys like a Wizard and Cleric? If you're using a lot of concentration spells, and most of my favorite spells is concentration spells, and they're good because when you keep in concentration, you're not using additional spell slots, so you can just cast Spirit Guardians, use your mace, and uh, like inflict damage every round. And that's why it's actually awesome spell. But there's always but you need to keep keep concentration, and as a wizard. As a cleric, it's hard to keep concentration because you don't have proficiency in constitution saving throws. So first level as fighter just gives you this proficiency and additionally you will get proficiency in armors so you can wear heavy armor instead of rope and just look, I got sorcerer with 21 armor class in act 2, I got a cleric with 21 armor class <laughs> that's really strong, in my opinion. That's very strong. Okay, got small leg, but I hope I'm fine. game please don't die i'm okay i'm okay by the way yeah they nice guy okay let me just save if it decides to break for some reason so most of the time you can just max out different classes with multi-classing most of the time but, for example, in case of druids, I would say, like, druids uh, don't need multi-class. Like, druids is completely insane with just full druid builds. Most of the druids. Maybe sport druid, again, will be nice with one level in fighter. Just for proficiency in constitution and, like, armors. Game, come on.
I need to turn on slow HDD mode, I guess. <laughs> Druid Barbarian? Yeah, it's fun, but uh, like uh, pure Druid is stronger, I guess. Again, you can't concentrate on spells as Barbarian and most of the Druid spells is concentration spells. Okay, that way. we're fine. Let's move. No rest for the wicked, I see. Ahead. So here we are. Where am I actually? Some loot here. Something over there. A lot more loot. Shadow root suck. We don't need this. Oh, it's Druid Journal. Okay. Let's read it. There could be some quests. Research on the nature of the shadow curse. Good to know. This boots have seen everything here. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, and we entering into cool location. Entrance to Hunter Duck. Oh no. That's wrong road. Little mistake. We need to go to the right over here. And there should be. Like little house, if I'm not mistaken. But let's explore all locations. No, house not here. So let's teleport back to Last Light Inn and save a little bit of time. What's over here? Actually, this act is so much walking when you're exploring these places compared to first act. In first act, uh, you just do a few steps and uh, it's battle or some other stuff. Okay, perception checked, failed. I guess we're getting ambushed. And I guess it's somehow... Like tied to this chest. I guess this chest is a trap. And I'm totally right. Shadow cursed needle blight. Alright, I hope we can survive. It will be awful if we die in like two turns while we're surprised. Alright, now it's our turn. I guess Karlak need to take down this big dude. And uh, Gladic will take down the rest. Oh my goodness. Karlak just destroying him. Kung Fu Karlak. Insane. So, Will, what you will do? Too dark. Too dark. Let's make it brighter. Let's make it brighter. Nice. 
We don't even need a cleric for this fight. Oh, there's too much shadows. I wonder if I already died. I wonder if I already died. I guess yes. I guess yes. Let's make protection. It looks awful. This guy is just exploding and almost killing me. Can I throw him? And now, Will, it's your turn. Oh no! I missed. Anyway. Okay, Karlak. Go suicide yourself. Oh my goodness. Is this elixir for critical strikes? It's cool. So... This fight was for heal giant finger, wood bark, and Pegasus Feather, and 100 gold. Shadow Cursed Lands. Scary place. We just can be ambushed anywhere. So where to go now? Let's see what's in this burlap sack. Key. Let's take it. Oh, I know this location where we're going. Let's Rest. My pleasure. Okay, he can't rest right now. He can't rest, but I want him to be healed. He can be healed right now or what? Okay, everything's fine. So what's going on here? You walk in the darkness, unafraid. A fair point. The murdered lie silent. The raven asks, will you be their voice? I always seek justice for wrong. Then you and I were... This woman tended a bar where she took her patrons. Her Yet she turned their word. They died because of her. And to he this day, who was victims lie unavenged. She's dead. How much Death more can she pay? End. I seek a record of this one's crime. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for her crimes. Your soul sparks with vengeance. Will you take it? As long as I get paid. The death of heroism is closer. Go to the distillery. The one she calls the waning moon. So we get little quest from him. And now let's continue our journey. In this lands. I guess again from last light in. There's a lot of like labyrinth stuff. Yeah. 
So we're going into Again, failed perception check. Again. Let me f call scratch. He got nice perception check. So, what this guy can do? He's level 9. Magic resistance. Opportunity attacks. Perfect sentry. Can't be surprised. So, when you attack him, you may be entangled. Okay, Scratch. You can, like, ignore this fight. Oh, Scratch can help. Let me put him in a battle over here. Can't give up now. Let's like hide and start this battle with different characters. So I guess Gale can use Misty Step. He is okay. Will is just range character. He's okay too. Carlock and the nice guy should go should have worn better boots. like to the front. I want to concentrate on magic weapon. Better be cautious. And let's go. Because that's definitely an ambush. So we are surprised. No, it's the best battle to be in. And these guys can blow themselves up, I guess. Are they vulnerable to any type of damage? No, they're only like necrotic resistant. So now, Gale in the fight too. Orc is actually like surviving right now. Alright, it's bad. It's just bad. I guess I need to run. I mean, I can use soul coin, but not now. Critical miss. Warning flare, deflect missile. I guess it's just awful fight that I should not participate in right now. Karlak is dead. And the addition to like Will is uh, basically done. He's entangled for four turns. I don't know. Scratch can try to help Karlak. But he needs action and he can't use this action anyway. So he can't help get up. What Will can do? What is this condition actually? So attacks against him gains advantage and he will be attacked by some powerful magic. Can I use this stuff on everyone right now beside Karlak? Let's try. Oh, yeah, I'm immobile. So, makes sense. Makes sense. 
So as well, I can't move. Allow me to demonstrate. As Gale, I can use bonus action to revive, revive my teammates. But it won't save them. I need to run. I need to run. This has me worried? Yeah. I mean... These guys will blow themselves up, basically. These guys will blow themselves up. So if they come nearby, even if I kill them, they will kill me. And this will be the end of the run. So my best uh, like decision right now would be... To basically run away, use dash, and then use Misty Step, and Flip Flam Combat. We playing on Honor Mode, we need to play smart. So I read one suggestion. When your characters succeed on dash saving throw, enemies can't attack them. And basically you are forced to go and revive them somehow. And it can lead to weird situations. I like how music changed <laughs> and we starting to win actually. So now Will can move. We can spell like fireball. <laughs> okay. If I will win this fight without Gale. It would be a shame if I win this fight without Cleric. But let's do it on the safer side. So yeah, that's what I told you. <laughs> Basically, Kavlak got obliterated. I got an idea. I got an idea how we do it. Yes. So Gale, while combat is going on. Need to find wizards in the camp. He should be over here. Because Karlak is dead. Karlak is dead. With silver tongue. So we need to revive here. Thou walkest alone. On all these hearts. Love is no demand. And does thou require a new I need to restrict someone must reach. this is the price of ban here's well, the gold my friend by doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives Rise. oh it will be hard to steal 500 gold from him I will need to do it with my rock but it's okay and now Me and Karlak live in camp. Let's march. And let's use Soul Coin just for fun. Where is the battle? Let's get back to the business. Like a vandal. Let's get back to the business. Okay, this I would call it a little bit of cheating, but I mean how to do it in other way. Okay, we don't have any actions right now, let's end.
he's like, what's going on? I just killed Karla while she's alive. She's cook. He's like cooking something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he decided he need to go on top of the cliff and kill Karlak one more time. Yeah, yeah. He's like frustrated. <laughs> Why is Karlak still alive? And now Karlak will just destroy you, bro. Victory is assured. When is Gale turn? Very soon, very soon. Okay, that, that was smart. It was very smart. Yo, hello, hello. Why Gale? It's not his turn, I guess. So let's use, like, Three magic missile of level one and some micro targets. Oh, it's it should be action. I used it with turn to on quick and spell. Okay, that's okay. So this guy got 2 HP here. This got 24. Let's do something like that. Two steps at a time. Okay. No. Don't attack Gale. Okay, he's back to the fight. Sometimes the only way out is through. And now we got bonus section. What bonus section can we do actually? I guess let's just drink a potion. Don't touch scratch. Can I ask where are you from? Oh, I'm from different countries, like... From different Baltic countries. Okay, now Gale can do this stuff. He can miss the step. Now he is... In the battle, let's use Radiance of Dawn. No, no, no. Tell me I'm not mistaken about this fight. It's looking so weird right now. Let's just smite him. Greetings from Poland. Yeah, I'm like... I was nearby of Poland. Like Lithuania, Belarus. So, yeah. I was in Poland too. Pretty like a, a lot of times. So, yeah, greetings. Okay, we've got broken concentration on cold lighting. I guess, first of all, I need 
to pick everyone up and just strike him with level 6 spell all right now we're cooking now we're cooking 7 hp on him he will die oh my goodness i would say this fight almost ended run <laughs> really like my videos is just so kind of like informative mostly not so like not too entertaining besides like few challenge runs with potato but it's nice to hear it's nice to hear okay we did it we did it iron club Just like totally deserved. Deserved win. Oh, so you can create scratch as much as you wish. That's broken. That's really cool. Is there anything good here? Light on my feet. I guess not exactly here. And there's a house. So guys, it's getting uh, really late. And I guess we need to finish soon. Let me check what is the book. Wooden chest. I better go alone. It could be a trap. Self-immolation, so I can put myself on fire. Very nice. And I guess it will be fun to go into this house tomorrow. Like, on the start of the stream. And finish this quest in this house basically so let's save over here and basically it's time to go sleep it was nice to see you all today on stream don't forget to drop a like button as always subscribe and see my <laughs> videos <laughs> yeah so we beat green porsche it was pretty easy fight i planned nice like plan but this one is really hard and I don't want to get ambushed right now while I'm a little bit sleepy already. So, see you tomorrow, I guess. I will read chat a little bit. Yeah, everyone, good night. Well, I'm extinct game. And I will add time codes later. So, yeah, all streams will be in playlist. So, you can watch wall playlist of this 100 mod walkthrough with time steps for every location so i'm adding this like time steps uh, on other day when i like wake up with morning coffee i'm adding time stamps time codes to every live stream lots of intense moments yeah it's becoming a lot more intense and harder interesting how it will be in act three because my plan for this act is kind of you will see tomorrow i will guess i guess so we can beat all act two basically tomorrow in a few hours and then what will happen in act three i don't know it will be hard we can lose to orin actually i lost a few fights with her so we need to be prepared strong enough and try our best so good night everyone and see you on the next streams Potato! <laughs>